Okay. And we are live. Mm -hmm. And now we can sit here and stare at each other. Mm -hmm. And uh, brother, hey, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Three weights in and then it happens. Yes. We allow. Allow. Because we haven't. All kinds of issues is something else that needs to be done or else we're not going to get anywhere okay and that is to shut that down okay because the the uh stupid cloud and you can't turn that you off. can't turn it off you can't get rid of it don't oh, know if anyone's in there yeah, yet hold on people. let me open it up oh hey. i see uh john is there john and kane union is hey, here kane thus Unin. far or has chosen to chime in thus far. There's mm -hmm. other people that may be in there, but you know we can't uh, we can't uh, tell yet. <laughs> yeah, we don't know what's going on. But uh, yeah, thanks for joining us. Decided to try take a crack at because you know sometimes we get stuff in the mail mm -hmm. and we do a film unboxings. Yeah, so we're gonna do the unboxing live yeah plus we want to do more <clears throat> live streams sure. we enjoy it and everything and people seem to like the live stream so you know say hey knock out two birds at once yeah stuff. talk to the community and talk to the people who watch the watch the videos yeah and... so that's what we're gonna do we're Share gonna wait oh. and let a lot a few more people come in yeah Fabio and then, is here. um We'll get started. So yes, and then we'll get started. Yeah, I hope yeah. you had a very uneventful <clears throat> week that not a lot of uh, bad things happened. Just or if it was eventful, then it was good, good events, eventful. not um, awful events. Yes, or a very boring week. Mm -hmm. Sometimes boring weeks. Boring are, can be good. Yeah, because that means if there's tragedy bad things, didn't yeah. happen. If there's bad things, boring can be good. Out of sight. Uh, and raccoon. Uh, yeah. Joining us yeah, this, this hey, raccoon. evening. Well, it's evening where we are. Yeah. 7, 7 p.m. In the Eastern Standard, Standard Time. Time. Eastern Standard Time. And that's just Jeff. Not any Jeff. Just Jeff. Yeah. Just Jeff. Just Jeff. That's all. That's all you get. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's yeah. Jeff. That's okay. <laughs> As we get ready to kick off. And we had, we could have had. Mm -hmm. might have had mm -hmm. an additional package because Edwin, Edwin sent a package to us but and it uh it, he 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 had sent me an email said he was sending a package and then um was asking about it because because it didn't arrive because mm -hmm. the thing said it was supposed to be here Thursday no nope, nothing's come nothing has arrived Munin says, have you heard Hasbro starting lineups that were once 50 or now at all, at least for $8.99? Doesn't surprise me oh. at all. That stuff wasn't going to sell. The original starting lineups don't sell. The, yeah. There's a handful. So somebody got mad at me when I did that video. <laughs> Everybody, so there's always somebody who's going to get mad, guys. They got upset. You know, some of the certain starting lineup are, yeah, you know, a handful from the first and the last wave. The other 15 or so years that they made those figures are in dollar bins at every show. Um, there, there is a handful. Okay. Oh, T. Stewart in the house. And, <clears throat> but still, the uh, I was like, uh, you're, you're bringing them back. Plus, they're not really starting lineup figures. It's not really Kenner. Mm -hmm. They're not figurines because that's what those were. Mm -hmm. with, like maybe the the waste would turn or something. They are legends figures you could have mm -hmm. called them anything else but starting lineup and people probably would have understood that and been like oh okay you know we had a we had to try to cash in on the washed up legacy of starting lineup figures just jeff says the two starting lineup figures that are worth something out of the 300 yeah <clears throat> and there might be more than that they even made um starting lineup did a crossover uh right when hasbro took over kenner mm-hmm um because kenner ran as kenner for a little while the gi joe hall of fame figures oh axel's there made um 12 inch 
so-called starting lineup figures and they did the Cooperstown collection and stuff like that. And even those, I don't, I think don't sell. Mm. If I'm done bashing on that, <laughs> Raccoon says back in 98, 99, they worked at a toy store and saw two grown men fighting over Joe Montana's starting lineup. Wow. Now they probably can't get, they probably can't get rid of them. Yeah. Buy my lineup for 50. You remember that one time it was at one of those bookstores. It was in Illinois and they had the whole table full of them oh, up like front. Yeah. They, they said final clearance, $1 each. And there must've been 50 of them in there. Yeah. And then in mm -hmm. Illinois, we went to a, um, <clears throat> a toy show and it was bring in a uh, action figure and you would get in free. Yes. It was <laughs> full of starting lineup, starting lineup and, and 90s Star Wars Star figures. Wars figures. Mm -hmm. Those two were the most in the box. Those are the ones that nobody wanted. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, here, take it. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I don't know what they were going to do. And yeah. Then, uh, Stuart says Montana, Jordan, and Magic are big sellers. Yeah, and they're probably from the first run. Yeah. And then uh, Munin. Hasbro just can't catch a break. They lost their shirt with the, with this one with all the licensing fees with Ooh, that toy line. Yeah, because yeah. it's you know the likeness, the NBA, Wilt, the basketball, Nike, whatever's attached <laughs> to it. They gotta spread it. Oh, whoa, two Johnny's weeks here. in Las Vegas. You better have a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> and, and and wear your mask because it stinks. Yeah, I went to Las <laughs> Vegas once, and um, yes. you know, I was walking up and down the street, the boulevard. The, yeah, yeah, the main drag there, and whoa, the smell was just awful. It's weird. Yeah, <laughs> but they do have that Marvel Studio, um, like museum or yes. whatever. That was pretty cool. I did some filming in there. That's when we were like just mm -hmm. getting the channel off the ground. So that was some years ago. Yes. Um, but that was pretty cool. Yeah. And well, that, he says the power of the force dig is just the, those 90s era figures hey, still shaped from Star Wars. David McNichol is there. So uh this, but I will show it to you. Oh, Elite Action Joe is there. What does he say? Let's see. I collected them and still have. About a thousand figures, most are worth worthless, but no sense throwing them away. Yeah, yeah if you like, and if you like them, you like them, and that's mm -hmm. what it is. I miss Star Trek experience. The experience, okay. Transformer convention tomorrow in California. California finally getting okay. Walker's Welker. Oh, Welker, yeah. autograph. And out of sight. Did you order the Mezco Ninja Turtle set? No, I haven't ordered anything for Mezco. The very last thing that I got was Death Dealer. Mm. And I'm off the Mezco bandwagon. Phantom Menace toys would probably be cheap, cheap forever. forever. Yeah. Mm. The Phantom Menace. Are you scared? And, yeah. We'll have yeah, to look, look for it that. Uh, it's at the end of the, str end of the strip. If it's um, still there. Yeah. Yeah. But it's like on the far <laughs> end. Um, I don't know if it was north, south, or what, but I know it was like at the end of the strip. And, um, but yeah, it's a big old Marvel uh, museum. I don't know. I don't even know if it was a museum, but it just had a lot of stuff in it mm -hmm. figures. Um, they had a the TV going, but that was before, that was pre Disney, I think. Because yeah. I, I, I was there in like 2019, uh -huh. tw 20. 18, 2018. And um, another tip there, Johnny. Don't, uh, a lot of people like to go to the Pawn Stars pawn shop. Don't go. Mm. Don't go there. <laughs> the one that you see on the TV is a studio reproduction. Hey, Phil. Of the, uh, of the pawn shop. It's not the pawn shop. The real one is a trashed out dump of a oh. store in probably one of the worst neighborhoods in Las Vegas. Really? So do, don't go there. Everybody who goes there is upset. Oh. <laughs> Seriously. <Wow. laughs> but um, oh, Hot Scott. Toys figure, wow. Biker Scout. Okay. Did you get it with the, uh, with the, with, um, well, I don't even know what they call that thing that they ride on. Mm. <laughs> I forget. Hey, Robert. Yep, Robert's here. Okay. Now, this I had already opened, and this is something that you don't see every day. And that is the Land of Grundo map with the Grubby and who is that? Tweed figure. So they got a bunch of Teddy Rus Ruxpin stuff. And this is 1985 mm -hmm. Worlds of Wonder, or 1986 Worlds of Wonder. And this is the play area map for the play set. 
because Worlds of Wonder made action figures for Teddy Ruxpin mm -hmm. based on the cartoon show that was on the air in 1986 and 1987. And this is the Grundo play area map. It's a vinyl, just a vinyl map comes with two figures. Mm. Grundy has like a million points of articulation and he has like one, his head turns. And I think that's about it. Or mm. you can twist his wrist. I mean, who cares about that? But um, the show was actually really funny. As I remember, I used to watch it with my sister and that's why I was interested in this. And they made, like I said, a series of figures based on the show. And I had already opened this because I wanted to examine it. Mm. And the figures, even this, is not expensive. Nobody's looking for these. They don't even know they exist. Mm -hmm. And the action figures, and there's the, a lineup of the action figures on the back. There's a lot of figures yeah, in that set. Yeah, it was about a dozen. And then um, this one has, is it this one? No, it's it's uh, it's this one right here. There are variants. I think it comes in three different colors. But you could pick these up cheap. Some of these figures, like the professor, nobody likes the professor. He's mm. probably worth like ten dollars mint on the card. But the um, this right here is the grail of the set, the balloon, because oh. it does inflate, and it's like this. In in the show, they travel around in this flying ship, and that thing, that thing can get expensive. The rest of it is dirt cheap. But yeah, I had already opened that up, and this is something that most people probably have never seen. And just the nostalgia of it, because I used to watch it with my with my sister when she was growing up. Um, David, no, <laughs> we've never been there. I I didn't realize it. I never put it together, but the retro toy show mm -hmm. that comes up once a year is sponsored by Toy Federation. But then I never put it together, and they're in the same area. And we said that the next time we go to the toy, the retro toy show, mm -hmm. that we would go go by there because it's in the same town greenville yeah and um we didn't go last year in 2023 because we had a lot of that's when everything went down with our um family so we didn't even go yeah but um hopefully things will be good this year and then they have that south carolina uh comic con that's in greenville coming up in i think april we might try to stop by, but I've seen their YouTube videos. But no, we've we've never been there. Yeah. Um, the speeder bike. Yeah, uh, I couldn't think get of the it. speeder bike. Yeah. John and William is here. That looks pretty awesome. Yeah, and I think so. William Randall is here. Hey, William, how are you? From what I hear, all the actual pawn shop tries to sell is the merchandise from the show i have no um, idea what they try to sell mm. i i knew a guy um who or i talked to a guy and i mm -hmm. know him that well he was a like a, a walk-on part actor mm -hmm. he does commercials and crap like that and he works around that area and he says that he watches he watched that show mm -hmm. and all of the shoppers in that um all the shoppers that you see on the show they're all walk-on part actors oh. they're, they're not even real customers so the show is completely phony. Next box. Okay. Next box here. Okay. And oh. Okay. <laughs> mm. This is cool. This is cool. Hold on a second. And this is um. Oh, it's a Smurf. Is that a bank? Yeah. It got the, money in it. Still has the coins in it. Hey, you gonna sell it with the money in it? <laughs> it's an AJ Renzi bank, and AJ Renzi made a lot of banks. Uh, grab that King Kong. AJ Renzi also made this. They made a lot of blow mold stuff, not just banks, uh, little ride on bikes, mm -hmm. uh, hobby horses, anything blow mold like in the 70s and 80s. And that's that one's never been used, and this one has never been used either because. That's what this circle is for. You're supposed to cut this out to get the coins out, which is why the coins are. Still I still have here. some money in there. I'm trying to see uh, how much is in there. I can't tell. How much <laughs> am I worth? It looks like about. It looks like a, a dime and like uh, seven pennies. So I'm worth seventeen cents. <laughs> and uh, this one still has good paint. Still has the sticker on it. it says Smurf Bank. You might better recognize. Um, 
A.J. Renzi is also famous for having made that Spider-Man, Hulk, and Thing bust bank mm -hmm. that a lot of people you might have seen. And they did these as well. And I just really fabulous prize or price on this one. Mm -hmm. Also, a lot of times when people don't cut this out, mm -hmm. they they make the hole here bigger, bigger to get the money to get out. the money out to pour mm -hmm. it out from this end. So this has never been tampered with and it, it's rare to find them like this and they don't sell for a whole heck of a lot hey george but, but i like it hey george and david says he likes the piggy banks they're big yeah the big ones yeah the oversized ones mm -hmm. aj renzi <clears throat> also and this is where you start getting into the big money um made halloween buckets and uh, of all sorts of things uh skulls and whatever but they made them in a multitude of different colors. So you can go down a big rabbit hole mm -hmm. of um, different color buckets like the skull. And they'll have a skull and it'll be white and black and purple and orange and pink and green. And then they will also cast them in different colors, but then paint them different too. Okay. So you'll have a black skull with purple eyes, black skull with, uh, with green eyes and so on. But yeah, I love this kind of stuff. Fan of the Smurfs. Um, I get a kick out of the banks. AJ Renzi banks. Mm -hmm. Again, most of them don't cost too much. You can still find them. Always try to look out for ones that have not been tampered with. And like I said, most of the time people are familiar with either the Spider-Man or Hulk or Thing Bust banks that they made which they also repurposed into halloween buckets oh, okay. when they had too many of them halloween came around they sliced the tops off of them and put a strap mm. and now you got a spider-man halloween bucket so on and so forth but yeah i just i love that kind of stuff i just think that's cool really nostalgic remember when kids used to save money in a bank yeah. do they do that anymore do they Probably even care not. about coins <laughs> do they even make piggy banks anymore? I don't, I don't know the last time I've seen. Well, they make them for the babies because you can buy them at tar Target's got them, and they're like it's a pig, but one has a baseball cap and stuff, and a yeah. ceramic bank. Yeah, yeah. I bought one some years ago for this lady for mm -hmm. her um baby shower, and it was a big bottle, and then uh, oh, but it was at these? but it was a bank. George is looking at the. Uh the joe's back yeah. there some of my carded joe's <laughs> yeah he got a big gi joe's collection i remember the mcdonald's halloween buckets yeah, we saw a few in goodwill mm -hmm. it was remade they were so. the modern ones yeah. i don't want those the droopy oh. dog bank oh yeah 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 uh gaylord from my toys mm -hmm. my my toy with a teardrop 19, in 1971 those come in different colors too and the colored ones are really tough to find yeah, I'll, well, I mean, I'll get around to it, David. Find a uh, place to put it. Oh, Sean made it today. Hey, Sean, how are you? <laughs> and Robert says, was watching DuckTales reboot, actually good and fun, kind of tempted on the DuckTales figures. Will you sing the theme song? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no. I wanted those. I refuse. I wanted those DuckTale um, action figures. Ooh, go ahead, mm -hmm. open them right. Yeah, I'll get started on. I this still one. have my vinyl Ewok bank. There you go. I couldn't tell. I couldn't sell it though. I wrote, "I love Sting on Autumn." Oh well, that's okay. That, <laughs> Your that, bank that gives us some history. Uh huh. I used yeah. to save money in a small ceramic bank. Now we got that five-gallon bucket. We put the money in. Yeah. Oh, well, not a bucket. It's that um, the water bottle. Big, yeah, like, the, the, the five gallon the water jug that yeah, yeah. you put on the machine thing. Now, this, hey, hey Miss Mister, this is a trade. A trade. And this comes from Lou from My Mego Like on YouTube. Mm -hmm. as he has a channel on YouTube. And uh, did they make G.I. Joe Banks? I want to say yes mm. off the top of my head. I want to say yes. I'm thinking it's more like a figurine, a figural bank. If you know what I'm saying, yeah. with a base on it, that that sounds familiar. And then once you start looking it up, a whole plethora of stuff is going. Yeah, to it's just a big can of worms. Yeah. it'll open up a whole new world of stuff, and you'll see things that you didn't know you you needed. But um, <laughs> but anyways, go ahead. Um, it was Lou from My Mego Like, and he also has a Facebook group, Mego Like, which I think he's more active in Mego Like than there. Mm-hmm. And I did a trade with him, and this is what I got. 
Okay. And there's a note in here. Oh, we got to put it on the uh, wall. It says, look out, it's Daredevil. And he drew <laughs> Daredevil. a little figure on there. <laughs> okay, Lou. Let's see. the best around it's an action figure yeah and that is no, oh evil it's got Knievel? a crack on the top i didn't realize that but that's all right no it's a knockoff of evil knievel oh made by uh durham toys oh, in the early yeah, 70s the, you, you got know a bunch of those yeah durham i got a toys. bunch of the durham toys up there i got some durham action figures they are some of the cheesiest worst like you can see how badly constructed that action figure is it's absolutely horrible but um, the artwork on the cards is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, look at that artwork. Look at that guy on the bike. Look at this. <laughs> and it's like, but he, and the, I don't understand. They all have this f arm function where you press a button on his back and they swing their arm. They all mm -hmm. have something they do with their arm like that. So is he so fast that he's going to get off his bike and wave the checker flag for himself to come in first? <laughs> How does that work? <laughs> I just, it's like the, the cheesiest thing you can imagine. But, you know, I, I get a kick out of this figure series. This is the kind of thing you would see in your five and dime. This would yeah. be hanging in Woolworths for like 66 cents, something like that. I think the price tag, this is a, a Grant's department store price tag, and it says a dollar nine. It's wow. hard, it's hard to make it out because it's it's so faded. Yeah, it does remind you of Speed Racer a little bit. <laughs> Go Speed Racer. They, but they made uh, so, some original pieces, some bootleg and knockoff pieces. Durham was known for that sort of thing. And they were known for terrible, crappy action figures. They didn't make fig. I mean, vehicles, because this person, um, David's accident, they had a bike. I don't... Uh... They, they, I think they might have some ride-on stuff for their Disney characters because they, they actually had licenses and they oh. did Disney uh, character figures. Yeah, John, like they that. did make Kung Fu. David has that Kung yeah, Fu figure. Young Kung Fu Chop. Yeah, of the of um Young Kwai Chan. Yeah, that's a that's an, an an actual bootleg, and people confuse the terminology. And knockoff is when you copy something that's already been done. So. This is a knockoff of Ideal's Evil Knievel. Mm. Young uh, Kung Fu Chop is a bootleg because it was never done. And that, uh, as I understand it, caused them a little bit of trouble back in the day. <laughs> now, here we go. There's an envelope. Oh, boy. What's, what's in the envelope? Oh, there's a comic oh, oh. book. Comic books are inside. And? Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Drug oh, that's cover a drug comics. Cover. Yeah. Oh boy. Drug cover. And that is a McFarlane cover. And nobody knows he did this one. Because it was this is a um a Canadian comic book. It was only done in Canada. Mm -hmm. Drug cover. And you see there's all syringes and stuff like this. And there's a beer <laughs> can hang up here. And so Spider-Man's rescuing the kids from their vices. And then number two here. Um, I think this one is like auto accidents or something. Oh no, it's number three is the auto accidents. Uh, all of these have some theme about saving children <laughs> from from danger. There's the third one here. This is the one about bike safety, and you see this guy apparently is determined to murder this child. Oh wow! And then here, yeah, you see him running the kid down, and then there's uh, Spider Man and Ghost Rider. I'd rather have Ghost Rider save me than Spider-Man, but, you know, it is what it is. Oh, wow. You know how you know this is Canadian? Because the kid's wearing a, an Oilers uh, <laughs> hockey shirt. And this is uh, what uh, Jim Craig did the art on this one, and I can't see who did this one on the Double Trouble. There's one more. There's only four in this PSA series. Make sure you hit that like button. Hey, Stone Thank Sour. You, Stone Thank you, Sour. Stone Sour. Thank you, Stone Sour. Really appreciate it. There's only it. four comics in this series. Oh, wow. There's only four. And that means that you only have one more to Yay. find. Yay. This is for me. That is for you. 
You know, I love this type of stuff. Yeah, she's not a huge Spider-Man fan. No. Although the comic is better than the movies to her. Yeah. But she is a fan of... We talked about that last week. That kind of PSA stuff mm -hmm. or any drug-related or alcohol-related covers and Oh, I was like going to get the... Um, I guess John never saw your Kung Fu. Oh, Kung Fu John. Sure, sure. And Raccoon says Wayne Gretzky's jersey must be the 90s. Yes, that's correct. That would be a 90s. And Stone Sour uh, made a donation. Yeah, this is young Kung Fu Chop. And, of course, he's wearing a bathrobe and nothing else. He's like, he's, <laughs> you can see his uh, flesh tone under there. So he, he's going commando under this robe. <laughs> and that's supposed to be young uh, Kwai Chan Kane. And, of course, you press the button and he does a karate chop there. And, again... Look at how excellent that card art is. And then look at how crappy the figure is. Yeah. The figure looks like absolute garbage. And uh, I can show you a couple more if you want to look at a couple more of these, if anyone is curious about it. And thank you uh, for the donation to the channel, uh, Stone Sour. Very much appreciate it. This one is the uh, Bluebeard the Pirate. Again, great art, terrible figure. You see one hand is a parrot and the other hand is a hook. I don't know how he wipes. but uh, And this is an extremely rare one. This one will pull good money. This is Prairie Scout. And there's an Indian too. I don't have the Indian. But that's the Prairie Scout. And this was also sold in a box. It, uh, as well as because it's one of three cowboys in a box and he barely fits in here because they didn't retool the figure they just kind of jammed him in there diagonally <laughs> yeah that's how they do oh my gosh cycle cop and again look at the artwork the artwork's phenomenal that's really well done and then the figure is like yeah thanks grandma for thinking of me on, on my birthday on your way here spur of the moment <laughs> And my favorite one, and this one, oh, this one has a Grant's department store tag on it too. Or this one says like a dollar four, is the fireman. Again, really excellent art. But now you have, they couldn't even be bothered to paint him all the way. So he's wearing like assless chaps. His legs are painted, not the rest of his body. And he's got an axe. So you got a flasher wielding an axe. <laughs> with a gigantic head his head is huge he looks like a lollipop but that's <laughs> oh my god oh no awesome. yep and david says leg articulation on the pirate looks weird yeah the legs are like really short on the pirate it's crazy yeah, and munin says pirate figure looks like patchy from spongebob <laughs> and nomsky is like look how big his head is yeah i know his head is ginormous but yeah, surprise. Yay! Surprise. That was a surprise. Oh. Thanks. We just saw that on the um some oh, yeah. video the other day. Did you? Yeah, didn't we see that on the video? No, you showed it to me on eBay. Oh, it was like uh yeah, some weeks ago. Yeah. There we go. Ashy slashy. Ashy mm -hmm. slashy. Who knows who ashy slashy is? No one. So I bet you half the people in here. I assume most kids wanted Fisher <laughs> Price figures over Durham. <laughs> Yeah, well, like I said, that's one of those thoughtless gifts you get from Grandma. Yeah. Oh, you said you wanted Evil Knievel, but you get the Daredevil uh, biker guy instead. And it's like, Mom, <laughs> this isn't Evil Can. But look, it looks just like Evil Knievel. <laughs> that's, that's hey, Lee. Hey, Lee Bram Walford is here. Um, we we're, we're unboxing some stuff. We unboxed unboxing. it. Unboxed some comics and a trade David got yes. and. A Teddy Ruxpin. Teddy Ruxpin, my so, uh, my land of Grundo map with uh with two free figures. It's not free if I gotta buy something. Just saying. <laughs> Terry wants to know what you're using to receive donations. Oh, this uh, on the bottom right of the chat. There's a there's a little icon. I think it's shaped like a dollar sign. Am I wrong? But Terry's on Facebook. Oh, Terry's on Facebook. Well, so you I, got to I can't, do PayPal. Can't do it on. Uh, can't do it on. Um, Facebook. Facebook. Got to be on the YouTube. Who made the detail? I know the figures you're talking about, Robert. Yeah, but I don't know who made it. I don't know if it was Mattel or yeah or Hasbro or something like that. I don't remember. I'm not Let's sure. See here. I can throw up a. I can throw up a thingy. 
because I do have I do have um, a link to something else that I use for the cats. <laughs> it's the truth. I got a, I got a link to um, that I use for the for the cats. Mm -hmm. We take uh, donations for the uh, for, for our cats mm -hmm. because we we're currently taking care of fourteen. Oh, God. Yeah, we There's are taking care of fourteen cats. cats right now, and it that's it. That's the link for that. Because the the shelter pets that we take care of and we work on rehoming mm -hmm. and all of that, all of that, this and that, and rig and roll, and then. Um, Moondust says a flash with an axe could make a great movie. Yeah, I know it. And then uh, Terry Lee, are you restreaming this then? Um, this will be saved. I mean, you can go yeah. back and watch it again. On on YouTube, yeah, on and, YouTube on, and on Facebook, it'll be there. Yeah, it should be saved on the, on the YouTube. Yeah. Yep, see, Robert says Ashy Ashy is from the Evil Dead. Oh, is we'll it? We'll open this up. I don't think I saw Evil Dead. No, it's fun. I love the way David collects, not like those collectors running around pretending to be experts on vintage toys. <laughs> I know what I know. I don't know if I'm an expert, but I know I do. Um, I do try to know a lot about whatever it is I'm working with. Mm -hmm. that? Yeah. Oh, that's that last piece you needed. That's the last piece. Somebody oh, just mentioned wow. Fisher Price too. Yeah, 1979 Fisher Price. Muppets stick puppets, and this is about as close as you're going to get to M vintage Muppets action figures. Mm. Released in 1979, and this is the display box, the deluxe box that looks like a stage with four of um, the primary characters in it. Mm -hmm. You see, and the articulation is everywhere because Miss Piggy, of course, is like no articulation. <laughs> And then these three guys only have one point of articulation because they can sit down. Uh, then you have also, because these four are also available carded, and there are three other figures that are carded. You've got Gonzo and um, Scooter, and Gonzo and Scooter have five points of articulation. Mm. And then you have Animal, who's a Bendy, mm. Bendy figure. But again, this is not a series that costs a fortune. But it is difficult to find a package that's in halfway decent condition. Usually they're just smashed to bits. And the carded figures, typically the uh, carded figures, the cards are in really bad shape. So now this is the last piece that I needed to complete that set. So I'm excited about that. And now I, I can do a showcase video mm -hmm. on, the, on the entire line since I have every piece now. I've done showcase pe uh, videos without having everything, mm -hmm. but it's I think it's better if you've got all of it, you know, so yeah. you, can, you can kind of talk about the history of it. And there is a huge Easter egg in this series. And oh, I'll, yeah? And I'll what? I'll, no, I'm not going to Oh, you're going to talk it's about it? It's a secret. You I'm got gonna... to watch the video? Yes, I don't think anyone's ever figured it out because mm. when I figured it out, I was looking at the uh, at the action figure set. I was like, "Wait a minute!" I noticed something peculiar about this figure series, and I tried to look it up online. I can't find anything, so I wonder if anyone ever figured it out. Mm. You, it, that happens. So it, it, I think that happened with a Mario Brothers game, uh, the original Super Mario's yeah. game with the Nintendo NES. And somebody figured something out like two years ago it was in the news. Mm. And they were like, um, why the hell didn't anybody notice this before? Yeah, no kidding. But yeah, big fan of the original Muppet Show. And remember, the original Muppet Show was for the adult audience. It wasn't really for kids. And you can catch a lot of that if you watch it as an adult. Kids watched it, but a lot of the adult innuendos went over their heads. The Sesame Street was for children, not this. But, you know, obviously it was marketed to kids anyways because, yeah, money. <laughs> yeah. There you go. No barcode on this either because it's, you know, before the 80s. Um, the way we do that, Terry, is we use a, um, a streaming service where you can put multiple, you can stream the multiple <clears throat> platforms at one time. Yeah. And um, that's how you do that. 
So we use the platform Restream, and then you can you can <laughs> um, post live to like YouTube, Twitter, TikTok, all those different channels, Facebook, yeah, all those different platforms all at once. So that's that that's how that happens. And that looks great. David looks, it looks mm-hmm. great. Yeah, they love nice. the Muppets. Yeah, we when we were working at the um daycare center, we watched a lot of the Muppets because um what? Oh, I just wanted to read that one because okay. I, it's by the way, when she says the daycare center, she's talking about the um she's talking about the mental health clinic where we were. Yeah. Because they were residents. Yeah, they they loved the Muppets, and I didn't realize how funny the Muppets were until yeah. we was watching it. And um, such a shame they never made any more. I think uh, Diamond Select uh, uh, made a, a set of made some Muppets a couple of years ago. Hey, and, Mick. Uh, Mick is here. Thanks for joining us mm-hmm. today. And yeah, Super Seven is doing it as uh, reaction reactions. Reactions. Sometimes yeah. when they do reactions, they eventually get around to the ultimates. True. That yeah. is true. I remember the Muppet Babies cartoon, but I ain't really care for it. That's when the Muppet and the thing. other thing that I had unboxed that people didn't see, of course, was oh yeah, the, the, uh, the um Smurf the bank. AJ Renzi Smurf Bank mm-hmm. still has his sticker, still uncut, and I I see if I can maybe I can get some tweezers and get my get them. Why don't you just out. cut a hole in the bottom? No, no. Mick wants to know if you have the police woman doll. I do not have police woman. Do you know who the manufacturer is? Off the top of my head, I don't remember. I don't remember who made that. Mm. Because they had some weird stuff. They did the police woman. Kojak had action figures. They're not um, Columbo. No, Columbo. Columbo only had, I think it was a a Corgi Mm -hmm. car with a little figurine. Mm. Um, Jada made, I think it was Jada made his car. Was it Jada? Mm-hmm. No, I'm, I saw... I'm, I'm thinking in terms of vintage. Um, uh huh. Thank you. No problem. As we catch up some of the yeah, comments, yeah, I'm and trying then, to catch up. And then we'll uh, we'll move on here. The big wheels. What happened to those? It died out. Yeah, it died out. Yeah, still holds up. I don't know if the Muppet Show is on on uh, Blu-ray, but I mean, it's on DVD. Check. But yeah. they only produced the first three seasons of it and oh. stopped. I don't oh, they think... had Muppet Legos. Yeah, they, they didn't go past, I believe, three seasons because they just couldn't afford to because all the guest stars, everybody who appeared on the show wanted a piece of the pie. Uh, and, you know, that gets expensive. It's the same problem that Miami Vice ran into before they finally got, because of all the music, uh-huh. uh, WKRP had that problem. The original Adam West Batman had that problem because there's tons of guest appearances on there. Famous people and their families want a piece of that because they own the likeness so there you go i sent a message to david's uh oh facebook instant messenger or his um okay yeah yeah e- email follow me up on that terry lee yeah either on because you're on facebook so obviously you got his facebook channel yeah just send him a direct message um and then y'all can coordinate yes and then um robert says do i have i only have one left because you, uh, what, many that of you evil know. Knievel stuff. I yeah. thought you had a couple of pieces. No, I thought you had a, something in a box. No, I oh. only have one thing left from way back in the day when I, I had all of wow. it. I only ha- I had all of it, but as many of you know, I had a big collection stolen many years yeah. ago. And this is the uh, the last survivor, if you will, from Evil Knievel Ideal. And of course, it's a bendy action figure. Nice clean card and blister. Yeah. And uh unpunched and everything. It's a really nice example. They all my stuff was. And all that this stuff, I mean, when I got this stuff, I mean you couldn't get 20 bucks for these. Now they're a fortune. Yeah, Johnny. Um new laptops and new computers, they don't even have a slot for the the discs the CDs anymore. Yeah. And then something I noticed because I have a laptop at work and I had to borrow someone's speakers and it had the speakers with the 
with the jack where you, you, you know, you plug the jack in, but the computer didn't have the jack. It, you could only use a USB uh, speaker. And then your yeah. phone doesn't even have that jack anymore. Oh yeah, you know, the, for the, the for the for the, the earphones, earpiece. Yeah, yeah. I used to like that. I put the wire and it had the little speaker, and you plug it into your phone. Yeah. Now it's only you uh, uh Bluetooth. Yeah. You it, can't even plug it in anymore. But I mean, it would always mess up anyway after a while and start getting fuzzy. But still. Yeah. Oh, on DVD. Oh, okay. A while back. Do you ever take some of the collectibles in the museum and do a show and tell at work? No, people at work doesn't don't even know we do this type of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, this you stays know? right here. Yeah, it stays in the house. Okay, let's. I'm gonna stop right here, and David's gonna open up. The oh, next horseman, thing. of course, horseman doll. Yeah. Okay. I, I couldn't remember. Hey, the greatest emperor. Yeah, extra Shao small. Khan. Shao, Shao Khan, Khan, the greatest emperor. Big box. Big. It says extra small. It says extra small, but this is a large box. Okay. For Home Depot, this is extra small. Robert got the reaction. GI Joe. He likes them. Okay. Just the main characters. Everyone trashing them, but I still dig them. I like it because it's the size of the original, and it's really yeah. good card art. It's like if Kenner made them instead of Hasbro. Yeah, it's really nice card art. <laughs> yeah, the card art is good. And I that's I'll <clears> give them that for the most part with reaction figures as far as card art is concerned. Mm -hmm. Um I don't like it when they do a photo card instead. Yeah. That bothers me. But um if it's if it's art, I think they usually do a pretty decent job. Oh, mm. this is full of packet foam. Do you collect so old gonna... advertising? Uh, Elite Joe have the Mark's Big Wheel poster. Oh, okay. Um, Big Wheel. His cousin was a little girl in it. No, I David so. doesn't have any advertising. Well, either. I mean, it, unless you count this kind of stuff, you know, like the yeah, product, people product people and the um, Pillsbury and stuff like that that you see down here, the Captain. Um, Captain Crunch banks and things. Mm -hmm. And speak of the devil, mm -hmm. that's what's in here. A bank? Well, no. Um, advertising. Um, yes, Robert, we do rearrange. And actually, I'm thinking about rearranging my side here pretty soon. I want to do some more stuff, but I'm trying to decide what I want to put in, in its place. But yeah, we do go around and we rearrange. We'll take down something that's been up for a while and put something else in its place because we got like a lot of stuff. So we swap it out. So something will be up for a several months. Then we'll take that down and put something else up in its place. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this Let's is see something. What, oh, you still got to unwrap. Yeah, I still got... Um... A ton of bubble wrap. Okay. I had a friend once that stole from me. I oh. threatened to call the cops on him, and he returned my stuff. He stole a lot more um, than what I thought he had. He went through my totes and put them back. Oh, no. Thank <laughs> God. Wow. What did he steal? Robert wasn't know. I want to know what he stole too. Oh, Am I the only one who doesn't let anyone near there? Can, no, you ain't the only no, one. No, it takes a lot to get down here. I know uh, you're just only... coming by and you're like, Hey, I saw you on YouTube. Can, can I come I, in? I, I've had people ask me that too. On uh, con hey, uh, on Facebook, hey, would it be okay if I came by? Who the hell are you? <laughs> Who are you? I don't know who you are. You're not just coming over here. <laughs> I mean, we do have people over, but we know we've seen them in person. We sat yeah, we've down had with talk and you know, you know, exchanged some some food or something. I don't know for a while before you just hop in. It's a lot of tape. I got to be careful. Yeah, you don't want to cut something up. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid of kids. I can see damage or broken stuff, especially near hot toys. Yeah, because yeah. they don't have any respect for anything. So they'll they'll like pick stuff up and move it around. And the next thing you know, uh, you're filing an insurance claim. David, I have one vintage um, cereal. Okay. And I have thought about collecting cereal boxes. 
you know. Yeah. Um, but right now I only have one, and that's the Batman. And I do want more, but boy, those prices of them, they're kind of up there. Yes. Yeah, looking through them when you go through on um on eBay, and then once you start looking, you you remember like, wow, I forgot this was around. Okay, I'll come back to you in a minute, K Mun, and we're gonna look at what David has, yeah, and then I we'll got come two back pieces. to pieces. I got oh, open okay. a bolt, but this okay. is all right. I can show the first one. Okay, and this goes with the Pillsbury plate. That's eggs. the big one. This one, love me, hug me. Yeah, because this one is a is a plush. Oh, okay. In the box, and you can see the other ones on the wall back here the pillsbury playthings of vinyl figures from like 1974. Are you gonna put that in yeah i'll figure it out they made three plush okay and i've got two of them here this obviously is the pillsbury um it says uh, durable press hat and scarf securely attached non-removable hat button securely mm. fashioned eyes they're letting you know that your kid basically can't tear it apart. <laughs> and it says machine washable and uh, soft, safe, and durable. It's Mr. Poppin' Fresh. Mr. Poppin' Fresh. Because I have almost everything. Almost everything. Almost. We're getting there. I'm down to a, a couple of pieces now after these two. But isn't the one you really need like $2,000? Jesus. Yeah. Don't get me going. The, you ain't uh, getting that one unless you win the lottery. I, after to, after today to finish the Pillsbury playthings, I only need two more pieces. And wow. it, no, I'm sorry, three. Oh. I, I take it back because I don't have right here. Mm -hmm. This is the Pillsbury puppet in a can. It, it's you a hand a puppet? puppet. It's a hand puppet in a can. Mm -hmm. All they did was take the head off of one of these. And put it on a hand puppet and stick it inside of a, a can that says Pillsbury and put it in this big white box. But there's a poppy also. Yeah. So okay. there's a poppin and a poppy. Poppy, of course, is Poppin Fresh's wife. Mm -hmm. And because you know, if you're a dough boy, you need a dough girl. And <laughs> I don't have poppy in the box. Okay. And I didn't have this either. And now I can open the other one. Okay. Right. So I need poppy in the box. Why would anyone ask a stranger if they could enter their house? Talk about creepy and suspicious. I know. It makes me think of, uh, oh, God, what is that guy's name? Dave Chappelle. And they have that famous meme with uh -huh. him as the crackhead. And it's like, yeah, you know, hey, mind if I drop by your house? Know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't think so. I don't know who you are. John is just happy to see the collection on YouTube. Well, hey, we're glad to share it. Number oh, one Marvel, Marvel fan, is fan is here. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, the kids will think your collection is right. You mess with like a bull in a fine china shop. Yeah. And Maybe I've... contract. Yeah, we do have contractors in the house. Because sometimes we'll get things um, yeah. fixed and, you know, they'll look and they look in amazement and like, oh, wow, I remember oh this, God, I remember yeah. that. Um, you know, we'll get that kind of stuff going on. But um, I don't know. My favorite hat, a Creed CD and a bunch of toys. I was letting him stay with me. Oh, that's what, was, what he took. Okay. <sighs> and he took advantage while I was away at work. Uh -huh. He put my boxes back and made things look normal. Jerk. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, I can't oh, trust wow. anybody. Oh, David, this is, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I know, I come up, I get weird stuff. Uh, some people, I get stuff people didn't know existed in, in a lot of cases. We'll start with Robert once we finish looking yeah. at this. And I got his wife. It's the poppy doll uh -huh. that goes with it. Okay, she got on a little dress. And yeah, everything. she's got on a little dress. Poppy's a little plump little girl. Yeah, that but dress she a can bake. Tight. She can bake though. Yeah, yeah. We need to cut cut back some. Oh yeah, you know they all those sweets <laughs> that they make, all those cinnamon <laughs> buns and stuff. The uh, <laughs> the box is in great shape. Yeah, it is actually it's a real nice box, and they're clean. Usually, when you see these, they're grubby or yellow. Mm. Even those back there, mm -hmm. you see how white they are. Usually, they're like faded or yellowed out. Um, but this, so I'm happy. The i uh, the only other plush that I'm missing is Flapjack. And Flapjack is the dog, because they had a dog named Flapjack, who was also like a doe dog, I guess. Mm. I don't know. 
Um, that one's a little harder to find because it was more popular than these two. So Flapjack is going to be tough. Uh, Poppy, the hand puppet, because I've got the Poppy, the vinyl dolls, mm -hmm. or the vinyl figures, I guess. They're really more figures. I have, uh, I need the Poppy, a hand puppet. It She doesn't come up too often in the box, but it shouldn't be too much. Flapjack might cost a little bit. Flapjack might get a little, a little bit expensive. And then it's Uncle Raleigh, and that's where you get screwed up. <laughs> Uncle Raleigh, which is one of the finger puppets, because mm -hmm. they came in this size also. And he comes with a little car that looks like the cloud car from um, Care, Care Bears. Bears. Yes, from Care Bears in a box. And if you can find him in the box, I mean, the last one that was <clears throat> available that I saw on eBay which was a couple of years back once the bidding was like over a thousand dollars i didn't even want to watch it anymore because it was like it's like over a thousand already and it's got like three days to go it's going to get crazy mm. it's like super super rare to find she's also machine washable soft safe and durable she's a hearty girl mm -hmm. she's durable yeah <laughs> that's too much they had to give him a whole family a whole family because they have kids too and they have a grandmother grandmommer and grandpopper as the mother and father i don't know whose mother and father they are i assume it's pillsbury doughboys mm. and then they have uh two children um a cat and a dog mm -hmm. in the family lineup and uncle raleigh whoever the hell he oh, is wow. <laughs> uncle raleigh yeah, raccoon eyes. Once you start, because um, I started looking up those cereal, and man, I <laughs> I wanted quite a bit, but I remembered, yeah. and some of them I didn't, I didn't remember, but a lot of them I did. But they just look so cool, Especially and I'm still the, like, who keeps that? You know, who who keeps that kind of stuff? Yeah, and some of it is pretty uh, pretty hard to find. Like even the GI Joe Stars and Stripes cereal. Oh, Bach wow. the box. And Happy the... birthday! Hey, Ujiro, it's his birthday. Yay. Congratulations! And they it can get expensive. The Ghostbusters, uh, they made cereal C three POs from Star Wars. Cereal. That sounds familiar. Didn't that wasn't that like some soup, like Campbell's soup or something? No, that was cereal. C three POs was a cereal. Okay, uh, I do they, remember they had, that. There were soups. And stuff so too they because had some, I think they had like Batman Ninja Super Turtle Super. did it. Yeah, Ninja Turtles did Chef Boy RD, and there was a mail order shredder that's uh, <laughs> like a unique color that's very expensive now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're gonna have all the entertainment. You oh, need. you got some uh, catching up to do here. Yeah, Moon says, You guys think I can stay in the spare bedroom? No, it's full of cats. <laughs> <laughs> you get, yeah, the cats are gonna lay that's off. A side conversation. Okay, conversation. And, okay, and that one too. Yeah, John says, Wow. Okay. Whoa. So, well, see, you got to catch up a little bit there. Uh, Love Marvel these. Fan. Uh huh. I, yeah. I find them loose in the wild. Yeah, the vinyl figures, you could find them loose all day. Um, finding them still sealed is another story. What about running out of room? Uh, Lee wants to know if we run out of room. Yeah, well. <laughs> we run out of room yeah. and like we said earlier when Robert asked do we swap out mm -hmm. um the, we have the stuff that's on display but I know for me David not so much the stuff that's not on display is in boxes and then mm -hmm. when I swap them I take the stuff that's on the walls now I take them down and put the stuff that's in the box up so we just swap them out so my whole thing and I've said it a million times um, if you have it, you don't want the battle. I mean, you so what? It's not on the wall, you, you can't see it, but you yeah. own it, and, and that's half the battle is already won because you own it. <laughs> and Robert wanted to know when the doughboy got a wife 1974, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, oh, yeah, is oh, that yeah, even legal? I have no idea. I mean, I don't know where he got him. <clears throat> yeah, I saw that. Um, Johnny, I'm like. You go on Big Bad Toys or Entertainment Earth, even on Amazon, most of them are sold out because I was going to buy them. Um, I, I didn't make a move on any of them. And now I think they're going to be overpriced like they were before. So I don't know. And 
Marvel found found a Keebler elf cookie jar from the eighties. Wow, is that the one that's, shaped that's like a nice. tree? Is that the tree one? It looks like a tree. Mm -hmm. Thanks again. Oh, thank you, uh, Stone Sour. Little cabbage patch. And if face. anybody is curious about it and wants to see um, one of the uh, some of the other family, let me know and I can pull one off and show you. You know, if you want to see any of the other family members, if you're not familiar with this at all. Mm -hmm. Okay, side conversation. Yeah, uh, David said. MLZ lost their. Creator. Oh, really? Oh. The, the writer? I didn't know that. Yujiro, are you leaving already? <laughs> you got things to do. <laughs> I guess. Uh, My and... wife collects Funko and has the Witch of Witch of Wizard of Oz, Wizard of Oz. Metallic, I think. Mm -hmm. I know it's worth it. Yeah, from the original stuff. Yeah, the old yeah. stuff before 2015 still holds a value. <laughs> nice color. Uh, oh um, yeah. I do that have a, I do have a, a a small collection of coffee mugs. I mean, he he got rid of a lot though. Yeah, it I had was to thin it out. Too, I had it was to getting it out. to be too much. Someone should be should make the Walking Dead animal, animal crackers. crackers. <laughs> they would sell. They probably would. Oh wow. Yeah, that's yeah. all. No, there's another one. Oh, okay. All they right, the we've caught pitcher. up. Yeah, they had the Kool-Aid pitcher mm -hmm. and the little mugs, and they came in a variety of colors. They, they were clear, orange, uh, blue. They did mm -hmm. different colors. And, of course, there's always the funny face. And I had this one, okay. and they put it in a box of pods from Finish, laundry pods, and the box, of course, already popped open. This oh, popped wow. open in the mailbox. Oh wow! So yeah, but it's a, it's a sturdy enough box. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah it's not yeah, a bad a box actually. Box. But yeah, this is uh, there's another thing in here. Okay, they packed it in. Well, newspaper. Something. Shame on you. Where is this from? Let me see. Where did they find a newspaper no, no. In, in, in the uh, 21st century? Yeah, uh, and it's an old one too. June 24th, 2022, Antiques and the Arts Weekly. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> Antiques and the Arts Weekly. Newspaper. Yeah, newspaper. Some another dying. Well, it's not dying. It's, it's already a, it's dead. dead. Newspapers are dead. Yeah. It's a shame. News, magazines are dying. Yeah. But newspapers have had it. All right, it's like. Occam's Razor, wow! Hey, for, uh, How are you doing? To us today. I yeah. hope you're feeling better. Oh yeah. I haven't made it to a live stream in in a year. Yeah, we're no. doing. You know, had some rough spots, but you know things are starting to even <laughs> itself out. Hope you're doing well. I know the last time we talked, you had some back issues. Do they have uh, who's very doing family in the I don't remember the I family. Think only Poppy appeared. I made a three Wizard of Oz figures. I have the loose scarecrow and cowardly line. They made like the one six scale figures. Somebody did. I've seen them every so often. You'll see it at shows. Hey, strawberry shortcake clock. Ain't that cute? That's nice. It Does is it a work? strawberry shortcake clock. That's what I'm trying to find out. Well, I don't know if that battery is any good or not. It's mm -hmm. in there. Aww. Strawberry shortcake clock. Okay, hold on. By Bradley. Bradley made this. One of those things that you would buy from the Sears catalog back yeah. in the day. And she's got her little, uh, her little cat there. Little figurine on... In front of her little strawberry house. <laughs> oh, David. What? Do you think this is for you? Yeah, I know it is. <laughs> My little cat. Yeah, she's got the little cat. And you see the cat's on a little spring? Mm -hmm. or, so can bounce or is she just not? Uh, I can't tell. But, I actually yeah. want to know if anyone is interested in seeing the new Ghostbusters movie. Cast has many of the originals. How much are they going to be involved? You know, are they just going to make cameos or just fade to the background as they get rid of them all together and kill off the legacy actors? Humpty Dumpty stuff. I don't think so. I, I didn't any... know they made Humpty Dumpty stuff. Yeah. I didn't know those Croft people. Oh, yeah. Sued McDonald's about the playland. What? Oh, yeah. 
did they? Because of the um, the costuming, that whole costuming bit, or like Mayor McCheese and stuff like that, Croft had been doing that kind of stuff. I don't think they got anywhere with the lawsuit, but they tried. Mm. Kira Toriyama creating Dragon Ball Z anime would never become as big as it has in, in the West. West. I believe that. Lainey says, oh, thanks for always staring the nostalgia. Love the podcasts and the Facebook group, too. Oh, thank you. Thank you. We appreciate that. Yeah. yeah Robert kind of like to see Ghostbusters sequel. I didn't even see the last one. I don't know if I want to. I, I'm wondering. I know people have said they've done a lot of fan service with it, mm -hmm. but I don't know if um, I would watch it and feel like, you know what, it just doesn't feel the same and not want to be bothered with it, um, if that makes any sense. Well, now it's, it feels like cleanup work yeah. after the all-women one went in the toilet. That was a failure. Yeah, so now it's like cleanup one. work. And that was uh, that was Bill Murray's fault. I ain't gonna blame it is Bill Murray's fault because he kept changing his mind because oh. uh, Dan Aykroyd was trying to get it done. Mm -hmm. And then he was like, Bill Murray is on, Bill Murray's off. He's like, yeah, I'm going to do it. No, I don't give a damn about Ghostbusters. Yeah, I'm going to come. No, stop calling me. And he kept changing his mind. And then the other guy dies. Uh. And then, uh, and then um, Dan Aykroyd is like, shit, what am I going to do? Well, why don't we just reboot it? And wow, that was a bad idea. That was just a bad idea. And he, he was practically in interviews begging people to go see it. I promise it'll be funny, really. Oh, That's wow. awful. And oh. I was like, dude, you're just telling us it's going to suck. And it did. <laughs> uh, <laughs> William Randall uh, says that <clears throat> the afterlife was really good and he's looking forward. So, okay, the, the afterlife is the one with those kids. Yeah, we go to Goodwill all the time. Yeah. Yeah, Sometimes it's here. okay. Uh, well, occasionally we find something, and most of the time it's almost insulting the way it's priced. Yeah, I've watched Golden Girls. No, no, um, no. That's not what he's talking about. Uh, have you Gold ever seen Golden Girls? Golden Girls is a gloob knockoff mm -hmm. of She Ra. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have it's got seen the that. Pink yeah, line yeah, yeah. And stuff, yeah. I have seen that. I think that. it was Gloob, right? I don't I don't remember who did it, but now that you say that, yeah, I have seen that. Um, I don't collect it though. It might um might be a line you I have seen it, um <clears throat> and it does remind you. I, I, I realized that it was a knockoff of mm -hmm. Shira, but I don't collect the Shira. Those are expensive now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, I know what you're talking about. But no, I, I have seen it, but I don't collect it. Okay, I just talk about Golden Girls, the TV show. <laughs> no, that show's not good. It didn't hold up. I, I tried it watching it, and I'm like, it's, "Are you serious?" Yeah, because there was a, a client that we had at the facility that used to like to watch it, and it was all it was um, mind numbing to, to listen to the dialogue. Yeah, the dialogue's and, terrible. Not only the dialogue, but the plots were make no sense. Yeah, yeah, the plots was just ridiculous. If I mean, it's going to be silly, like Gilligan's Island, the plots don't make any sense. But at least it's funny. Yeah, you we know? we talked about that. Um, no, the pill. You said only the wife was in the commercial, right? I believe so. I don't know if they did the other family members. I don't recall, but I I, I think I remember seeing Poppy, but I don't know if I saw other family members. Mm. The guy from Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, and Dragon Ball two died. Kazuki uh, Takahashi. Mm -hmm. the two shows wow. was a big part of my childhood. Isn't um that one we're watching now that spaceship? Isn't that considered an anime? Yes, uh, Star Blazers. Blazers. That's pretty good. I'm actually liking that. Star Blazers <laughs> is amazingly <laughs> well yeah. done, and you appreciate it more as an adult. Because mm -hmm. when I watched it as a kid, I loved the show. But I didn't understand it as well as I do now because we're rewatching it, and it's like um, it's it's very well detailed. Mm -hmm. I like the idea that it's ongoing. You know, the whole not only the the whole season, but the additional seasons run together as one plot, mm -hmm. and then 
certain episodes are profoundly sad. Yeah, the you know, guy like, dies. Yeah, and... people, I mean, and things that you didn't even think about when you were a kid, mm -hmm. like when everybody's up on deck and they're carrying boxes and you're like, those are coffins. <laughs> they're, 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 they're doing a, a burial in space, releasing coffins. And it's like, oh crap, that's right. Because they had a big battle of ships wrecked. Yeah. People died. You know, things like that, they don't sink in until you're older and you're like, wow, I get it now. Did Filmation um, come out with any ISIS related Captain Marvel figures? I don't believe so. Uh, no figures, other types of merchandising. I mean, you might could say, um, I walk that back a little bit. I know that um, Mego, because those are actually based off of the off of the TV shows. Me, so Mego, but uh, in like <laughs> 74, 75, but um, not anything else that I know of. Yeah, and people got upset at me on that short. You look at some of those comments uh, cutting me down. It's like, did you look at those tires? They were it, bald. Yeah, one was intact. One was uh, stripped so far down that the um, that the steel belts were starting to show through. <laughs> one was the other one was bald, and one had good tread for about four inches, and then the inside tread was stripped out mm -hmm. like somebody was doing donuts or something. And then the rims were scuffed up anyway. Yeah, and it was like you idiot. They're obviously just selling the rims, uh, and it's like the rims are trash too. Yeah, what the, the hell are you talking no about? Good. They, they people just want to say something yeah they always got something to say yeah but, wait for the home release yeah ghostbusters afterlife was actually good ego's uh egon's, egon's daughter, egon's mm -hmm. daughter. i also like godzilla versus kong just wish they stopped giving kong weapons and making them kaiju buddies <laughs> yeah okay Johnny Your said thoughts, thoughts on oh, a new Karate Kid movie with Jackie Chan. Yeah, Jack. and Ralph Macchio. I don't know because they already did the remake with uh, with Smith's kid. Yeah. I didn't see it, and but I heard a lot of people say it really sucked mm. and was a lot more unrealistic than the original. Really? Watch Prey, the newest Predator movie. I actually liked it, uh -huh. but wish the natives would have spoke in native language instead of english uh -huh. but that predator was sick i heard it wasn't as, as bad, bad as people were preparing themselves yeah but a teenage girl in a boomerang hatchet and stuff and it's like there's certain things that are you know what you throw a hatchet into a tree and try to pull it out <laughs> i have all right and then imagine a a 13 year old girl with an arm about that big uh, snapping it out with a rope that's tied to a wrist. <laughs> it, it doesn't make sense. Did you see Battle <laughs> of the Planets? Battle of the Planets is another great one, as is Robotech. Oh, wow. Robotech was good, too. He Kentaro Berserk. Maruza. Uh -huh. That was the first complete anime DVD series my father bought me for my birthday okay. almost 20 years ago. And then, um, yeah, Robert says they bought the old Sham Shazam 75 show. Uh, oh, okay. Because that's what it was. It was Shazam and Isis. Hey, Dutch. Oh, that's Dutch. Oh, yeah, from Dutch the, from um, um, Dutch is a show promoter. Yeah, mm -hmm. he does the Conyers toy yes. show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. And William those, says those tires are only good for tree swings. Yeah. Yeah, that's about See, it. They wanted two hundred fifty dollars, and I'm like, God, the rims are scratched up. There's one good tire. The rest of them are bald or stripped. And it's like, what are you doing? Yeah, it was the aftermarket rims, and I figured that's what they were doing. But again, yeah. they were all scuffed up. And then you have Value Village. You don't go to Value Village to buy two hundred dollars worth of rims. The, some <laughs> of the prices they throw on stuff is is insulting and that's when i do that short mm -hmm. but you know it doesn't matter what you say there's yeah. always somebody who's going to try to kick you in the teeth for it have you ever watched the pilot for the 1970s wonder woman i've seen the wonder woman series and i have the uh linda carter mm -hmm. but i know i think there was an earlier attempt oh. but I, I don't know if i've seen that one but I I, don't... I've, I've seen the linda carter linda carter one is funny especially the theme song is hilarious I remember watching the show, but I really don't remember what it was about yeah. at all. But I remember me and my cousin watching it and liking it and want to be Wonder Woman 
but I don't know what she <laughs> did. I think she was like what a, a news reporter or something. No, she was a uh, she was an officer in the Air Force. Oh, was she? Yeah, oh, she God. worked. She worked in like the um, she worked in the information office. Or like what? Do you, what's the term for? Oh, it? that's a far cry like, from the like comics, Air, ain't it? Air Force intelligence or something. Oh, she wow. worked in that office. At, oh, wow. you know. Okay. I just remember it being on, and yeah. I remember watching it, but I don't know. I remember her spinning around and her clothes changed. It's it's silly in a uh, Night Rider sort of way. We're watching Night Rider <laughs> right now. <laughs> The show is insane. The it's stuff they do doesn't silly. make any sense at all. Because <laughs> you didn't realize when you were a kid, because you're just watching it. But as an adult, and you're watching it. It's so it's so dumb. It's funny. Like it, like yesterday, Michael Knight has amnesia. The we, amnesia. We watched it yesterday, the amnesia series. episode. Yeah, episode. And, He's still so he doesn't even know who he is. Kit tells him to he's fighting with a guy on the balcony six stories up. Kit tells him to jump and he does. You don't even remember who Kit is. You're gonna jump off the off the freaking building. Because a car told him to. And then uh the sunroof opens up real quick and the chair comes way up out of the, <laughs> out of the and catches him and, and brings him gently back down into the car. And I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> I don't think people oh, will man. ever stop talking trash yeah. online. Every post, every topic, don't matter. A couple yeah. of bad apples will try to. I don't. Spoil it. I don't bother answering them. There's no point. <laughs> but uh, the the um, the thing with that Occam is that the internet has opened up a Pandora's box, <laughs> providing people the opportunity to hide behind the anonymity of the internet. Yeah. So you can be the biggest prick in the world, and no one will ever figure you out. So that girl killed Predator? Of course. <laughs> and he was like an ultra Predator, too. Uh, what? We just yesterday mm -hmm. started the first episode of Comet Empire. Of that season two. Season two. Robotech. Yeah, Robotech's another good one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 100%. Okay, yeah. Yes. It's a green. Mm -hmm. Okay. Battle of the Planets is funny, too. Yeah. I wish but Battle of the Planets is a good one. Oh, we gotta jump ahead here a little bit. Called <laughs> Mummies Alive. That I, I I remember that show. They made action figures for it too, I believe. <laughs> Doesn't make sense either. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's doofy and it's but it's and it's funny. Wonder but Woman it's is good. like that. Yeah, okay. One that and Dukes of Hazard is of like Hazzard that. It's <laughs> like that. The last season, I don't know what the hell's going on though, because the last season it got really weird. And the last season, they're not they're it. They, they're not jumping cars anymore because they couldn't afford any more of them. Oh, yeah. L uh, Lanny, uh, I like the look of the 15-inch mm -hmm. Scare Glow. I'm not going to get one, but I like the idea of the oversized like remake of the classic, and I like that they put the bones on the inside of the body. Yeah. So it glows through. I think that's a unique idea. It reminds me mm -hmm. of when Mattel did the big uh, blow-up blow figures, those 12-inch ones. Yeah, the one yeah. six scale on the big card. Yeah, it would it be neat if they sold it blister carded like that. Yeah, on a big but card. Uh, Mondo's probably gonna throw it in a They'll box. They'll put it in a box. Yeah, Predator. Oh, he killed the grizzly in bear. that in that latest film. I remember Kathy Lee Crosby as uh -huh. Wonder Woman. I was like, she's blonde. Yeah, because <laughs> they made a, a, a an attempt at it early on. I got but, a book um, about TV movies. Okay. 60s and 80s. The the one that'll surprise you also is Six Million Dollar Man. He's a smart because it's a bigger drama than you remember when you were a kid. Oh yeah, so um, it's not doofy. It's not doofy at oh, all. Okay. I mean, it's it's funny in a way because they did slow motion to mm -hmm. emphasize the strength of the bionic uh, parts of his because he's a cyborg. Oh. Wow. Uh, the, um, but, Knight Rider box set on Blu-ray. Um, has the flashing oh, okay. red lights and it p plays a little bit of the theme song. You know what's funny about the about that show also is the music. Oh yeah, because it plays real hit music from the eighties, but their version, because they 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 have someone else re singing it. Yeah. it doesn't. It sounds off. Cause you're like, I know that song. Wait a minute, who's singing that? 
Is that Nighthawk? I thought it was Street Hawk. So a Nighthawk is a motorcycle. Yeah, but, but I thought it was called Street Hawk because didn't he have that the yeah. helmet that came down and it had all that information? It might in have the been. Uh, maybe night is Nighthawk the um the helicopter? Because there's he a helicopter says the motor, version too. It's a motorcycle. There's a helicopter one too. I okay. don't remember. Yeah, but I I remember that. But I thought I thought um I thought it was Street hey Black Hawk. Knight. Hey Black Knight, how you doing? Black Knight has a channel also where he does yeah. uh, he does toy hunts. Uh oh, Brian, Brian likes Sanchez. my beard. You got to grow your own. You got to grow one out. Lou won't let you. No, we're gonna get it down to. I did ZZ an, top I did an of... unboxing of uh something from Lou because Lou sent me this. Uh, Brian, Lou sent me this. Because uh, you might have seen his video where he got a, a, a trade from me, and this is what it was traded for. Dave, we're going to get Davis Baird down to ZZ Top standard. She's the one that wanted me to grow it out. We're going to see how long it takes to get to ZZ Top. Kid, I need you, buddy. <laughs> Sorry, Michael. I can't keep fighting your battles. Yeah. He always says that. Kid, I need you, buddy. Yeah. I need you, buddy. And then, and then Kid like, unlocked Japanese. Oh, it was a Japanese live action movie? They're, they did make a live action movie. I think they dubbed it into English, didn't they? Oh, he says on YouTube. Okay. Okay, well, I'll look it up because I'm, I'm liking the TV show. Hulk battling a bear is better. No, no. The best bear fight mm -hmm. that you will ever see in cinema is um, Hercules Takes New York starring Arnold Schwarzenegger. Mm -hmm. And you've got to watch the dubbed version, not the remake. Okay. Because the film was redone with there's two versions, one Arnold's real voice and one with an actor dubbing his voice over because his accent was so bad no one knew what he was saying. <laughs> and in the dubbed version, you see Arnold and they have a voice like this. Hi, I am Hercules. Oh my god. It's like Come and on. his lips don't even match up. It's hilarious. But there's a scene with him fighting a, bur a an escaped bear in Central Park because Hercules is in New York. And we go from um, a bear, stock footage of a bear walking in the woods that doesn't even look anything like where he is because mm -hmm. he's in Central Park, not Yellowstone. Then a guy in a bear suit <laughs> going like this and then him holding a big stuffed bear and spinning around and throwing it all over the oh place. Oh, my God. So they kept transitioning between the three. So he pick it up and throw it. And then they show stock footage of the bear walking. And then the dude in the in the in the bear suit again, looking like he's going to box with him. <laughs> it's hilarious. It's the best bear fight scene ever done. <laughs> Oh yeah, it is Street okay. Hawk, but there Air is, a, is a helicopter. It or is um, okay. Nighthawk, and I think the Nighthawk is on is Night Tubi. Hawk... Is that superhero? Is Nighthawk the one with the the guy in the? Uh, it's like a really bad '90s superhero. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay, He's okay, a okay, superhero. Okay. Um, and I tried to watch it, but it was like, ugh, I couldn't get into it. I have to try it again. Yeah. But yeah, he got like a bionic <laughs> eye or something weird. Something happens to him. I couldn't get. I That's couldn't some get image through, comic bullshit. Yeah, I couldn't get through the yeah. first episode. But yeah, it's on Tubi. Um, so you can always watch yeah. it. And I keep saying I'm gonna try it again, and I just. I just didn't. Robert says that the uh, Hulk TV show about child abuse made him uh, made him cry. A, a lot of those are really well written, mm -hmm. and it is a sad show. That's what <laughs> that's kind of what I'm talking about. Uh, the, sometimes the Hulk, some of the scenes they do look city, silly, like when he's running in New York, and you can tell he's wearing green shoes. Yeah, uh, things like that. It's kind of funny, or somewhere the makeup rubbed off, and you can see his actual skin color through it. And. Um, What's the other one? The I was talking about Six Million Dollar Man. Oh yeah, because, yeah, the mm -hmm. Bionic Man. Because when you watch it as an adult, you don't realize how serious of a drama that show actually was. Yeah. Or especially even after his accident, he's trying to commit suicide in the hospital, and oh, the yeah. nurse and the nurse is trying to hold his arm down, and she was like, "Steve, please, please, calm down, calm down." And he's crying, and oh, wow. it's like, "Oh man, you're kidding!" Because mm. when you're a kid, that stuff goes right over your head. You don't get it. Mm. Oh, Lou Ferrigno did a bear fight. He had yeah, a five hundred. a real bear fight. Oh, wow. Well, you know they get bears trained. Yeah, they to do. to wrestle. I so just watched kill you. Ice Pirates, an eighty Star Wars style comedy again. I saw that in the theater when I was a kid. 
You know Ron Perlman's in that. Oh, was he? Yeah, Ron Perlman is in Ice Pirates. That movie is weird. <laughs> you need to meet the guy. Yeah, the, the Lonely Man is the name of that song, I believe. We tried watching it, but it was just too depressing. <laughs> I couldn't I couldn't take it no more. <laughs> I think what pissed her off was that Banner, everywhere, almost everywhere he went, yeah. people were willing to help, and he was like, no, no. And it would wander off somewhere. Yeah, because, you know, people wanted to help him. They knew who he was because they saw the transition. And he was like, mm -hmm. no, I'm putting you in danger. And they're like, no, because the Hulk never hurt anybody. Yeah, yeah. He always helped and saved people. And Banner just couldn't get his head around it. And, um, <clears throat> you know, that just, it was, it just got, to me, it just got annoying. As a kid, I liked it because you like seeing the transition. You like seeing Hulk. A fight and Rough all of that. People up and, yeah, yeah. But then when you're a kid and you seeing that battle he having, and um, <coughs> and then you know Excuse after me. reading the comic, I guess that's what they were trying to go for. Because in the comic they had that that inter he had that internal battle, but the Hulk could actually talk, and the Hulk wanted to be the Hulk and not be David Banner. Yeah. So I don't know. And then uh, who who remembers when uh, when Lou Ferrigno as the Hulk was on Mr. Rogers? Oh, really? Mr. Rogers, as the Hulk? Mr. Rogers interviewed him mm -hmm. in his trailer mm -hmm. uh, on the set of the show. Oh, okay. And because you know, Mr. Rogers, he does the that the whole purpose behind the neighborhood of make believe was it's okay to pretend, but it's time to put that away too, mm -hmm. and to understand the difference between fantasy and reality. Mm -hmm. So that was the way popular kids show. Here's who the Hulk really is. Mm. As opposed to, no, there's not really, uh, uh, he doesn't really turn into a monster and, mm -hmm. you know, all this other stuff. That's why Big Bird could never be on the show because the uh, the people who control Big Bird, mm -hmm. um, he would want, this is what I read, for uh, Carol Spinney, mm -hmm. who was inside the Big Bird, to reveal himself and explain, yeah, it's a big puppet and I do this and that. And they were like, no, we're not doing that. Uh we we he's got to stay in character, and Mister Rogers is like, well, well, I guess we can't do it. Oh well. Yeah. Are there any other toy <laughs> history videos? Coming? Yeah, actually, uh, you, well, you were you were here, weren't you, Muni? I'm gonna be doing one on this set now that I have the last component to the set. And this was on my list of uh, things I was looking out for this year, if you recall, when we did that video mm -hmm. of, like a month ago. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. He the gorilla fell in love with. That Wonder sounds Woman? familiar. A very sad. Uh, let's see. What do you guys think oh, of the no. movie Barbarella? It's Where a then? 60s film. I guess it's then. really weird. I never saw or even heard of that. It doesn't need a remake. <laughs> it doesn't need a remake. They're going to make a remake of it? Oh, yeah. They, I guess they're remaking it. Oh, yeah, because they're creatively bankrupt in Hollywood. So yeah, it's like, huh? oh, this film is popular. Let's do it again. <laughs> Oh, well, let's do it again. It's all about remaking. And we were talking today because we saw a movie called Insect, which it wasn't about. <laughs> well, yeah, it was called Insect. Film. Yeah, yeah. And it started off as a worm and then it became this big insect. And of course. It looked like, kind of like a praying mantis, I think. Yeah. Sort of, I, yeah. A praying mantis ant something. I don't know what it was. But. At the end, you know, it, it it goes off in a way that it could be a sequel. And then, you know, a lot of 80s, 90s horror ends that way. Yeah. And then I was saying, why don't they and go then they back? never have a sequel. Yeah. Like the like um the blob, mm -hmm. which was a remake of a 50s movie. And the 80s blob is much better. But then because yeah. you remember the priest at the end had a little piece of it in a jar. Mm -hmm. And then you don't you don't know what happens. Or the stuff. The stuff. The stuff. Uh, that was wild. There was a lot of good films from that era that uh, they could go back. And if they picked it up where it left off, it could be done right. But, you know. Yeah. And it's like, why don't you just pick mm -hmm. those up where it left off instead of ruining great movies? But they did that with um, The Thing. And they that could have been okay if they had picked up where it left off and, and a new team got to Antarctica and they saw the two frozen bodies, bodies. sitting there yep. and then they go from there. But then they wanted to make a prequel all the way 
before the one from what the 60s or 50s or 60s or whatever well the 50s one the 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 thing looked like frankenstein <laughs> <laughs> nomsky really liked daredevil in the hulk show mm -hmm. call me crazy but daredevil in all black suit is better than the red or mustard yellow colors and john says if we ever see the movie blow out with john travolta i don't mm -mm. that doesn't sound familiar mm -mm. it doesn't sound familiar and Occam says uh, 50 toys and comics are on a downward trend. Really? The price generation is unfortunately gone now. Um, I don't know about the comics no, part. Comics, toys maybe. Comics are still up there uh, from that era. Mm -hmm. But um, sir, it depends on what the toys are. But part of the reason for that is because the market's been made very difficult. Now, 50s, uh. 50s robot toys are still pretty valuable. Mm -hmm. um, the cap guns they've made it almost impossible to sell the damn things. Yeah. It's very difficult to move the cap guns. Yeah, because of that red tip. Yeah, they want you to have a red tip on it or else you can't sell it. And you can't ship it internationally, so it can't leave the continental U.S. if you sell it in the, in the United States and vice versa in Europe. Mm -hmm. um, and that, But a model tr train, a lot of the trains and stuff from that era have come down. That's yeah. true. Dolls have come down like uh stuff that back in the day when i was a dealer back in the 90s and i used to deal with chatty you know if i had chatty kathy's mm -hmm. and stuff like that any of the old ideal dolls ideal shirley temples um that sort of thing of uh, velvet velvet from ideal that stuff sold it got good money now it doesn't it's it it's probably could get less than half of what i could have in the 90s they have a, the Fallout video game <clears throat> show is coming to Prime. Okay. I never played Fallout. Love Forever Night, but the ending pisses me. I, never, I don't Forever know. Forever Night, is that that vampire show? I don't know. The Fallout series can turn really bad. Some of the games were great. Some not so much. Okay. I know they had Halo. Is it Halo the one with Master Chief? They had a TV show of that. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how it turned out. Though. I never played that either yeah but master chief was real popular so they did a tv show mm -hmm. um but i never heard how that came out you know how that turned out david says uh 80s film on tubi warlock and warlock 2 i remember that i remember warlock I it's another weird that. one love 50s toys cool mm -hmm. 50s laboratory yeah. set with the real, real uranium, uranium. Oh, the Mr. Potato Heads from that time period are coming down, too. Yeah. The original Mr. Potato Heads. I saw that one. We saw all yes. three of them. Um, it's three versions of Body the 50, Snatchers. The 50s one? Yeah. The, the 70s one. With and then Sutherland. A, and a mo yeah, uh, Donald, Donald Sutherland. Sutherland. And then a modern one. The modern one is awful. Yeah. It had um <laughs> that guy that plays James Bond. Yeah. I can't think um, of his name. Daniel P Pierce Craig. Brosnan. No, Daniel Craig. Oh, was it was it Daniel Craig? Okay, mm -hmm. you're probably right. Yeah. And then um, the '50s one, of course, they win because the they beat the aliens. Yeah. They they uh, the government stepped in and, and dealt with it, but in the '70s one left you hanging. Oh, you don't know, the Western you, you stuff. don't know how it worked out. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you're talking about. Yeah, that Western stuff. Western. We see a lot of the Western stuff at the shows, though. And it's so historically significant it really is well the fit in the 50s uh more than half half of the dramas on television were westerns it was very very popular we haven't bought any comics lately yeah except for these that uh um, yeah the ones oh, you, you have, just right? got me the today, ones that i just gave her but today. we um we really haven't bought any comics yeah. lately not since the last uh, convention. Yeah, the last comic show. Is one coming up and then later this month? Is it this month or next and month? Then I, and then I spent too much. because. <laughs> but the, the deal were insane. You know, I don't talk about, I, I don't like talking about prices because <laughs> I don't want to. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we're going for the ZZ top look, this not the Viking warrior look. Well, I'm gonna try once it gets long. We're gonna put some braids in it, 
and we're going to do some different things with it. So, yeah, we might have some Viking going on a little bit. But once we get to chess <clears throat> level, we are full on ZZ Top. She's crazy. Full on ZZ Top. Whatever that. makes you happy, sweetheart. The um, What was I saying? Yeah, the, more than 50% of the dramas on TV were uh, Westerns because there was a big obsession with it at that time. And yeah. So, yeah. There was a lot of stuff related to that, and it's kind of dying out now, and I can see that in some of the Western comics. And it's a shame when you think <clears> about how six, historically significant some of those people were, like Gene Audrey. There's yeah. Gene Audrey, um, there wouldn't be country music without Gene Audrey. Before that, it was called Western music, mm -hmm. and he's the one that changed it so that country music became a thing. This is a guy with over 200 um, top 10 hits. Really? And and he also wrote other stuff, like he wrote the, the songs for uh, Santa Claus is Coming to Town, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. He did their music. Hmm. Uh, he was around. He, had, he was in something like 68 or 70 films he starred in. He had his own show. He had his own radio drama. He had his own comic book. His horse had its own comic book. Uh, it, the, he was really culturally significant. Now you tell people Gene Audrey, they're like, huh? Who's what that? the hell is that? <laughs> Who's Gene Audrey? Um, <clears throat> yeah, but I think it's the newer comics, not the older stuff, because a, a lot of people are getting tired of the newer comics. I'm not sure if the older comics are, are drying up. But then, honestly, I haven't really been looking at comics. I'm doing a whole revamping. But <laughs> David laughs, but it's true. I haven't bought anything in a while. And we've talked about that before, um, too, because, you know, we go to a lot of shows. And mm -hmm. we talk to some of these uh, dealers, especially the comic dealers, and they all say the same thing. Uh, the vintage stuff says if it's, before, if it's printed before 2000, I can move it. I'm trying to get away from new stuff altogether. I don't even want new product. I want to cut my, I've, I have already cut ties or I want to cut dot ties with diamond distribution and just put an end to it. Mm -hmm. yeah, but you know, older stuff sells. We know that one guy, um, who is that Jack? Yeah. He wants to go straight golden age because he moves so much of it. Yeah. He moves it and he moves it fast, <laughs> but, and he, he has some newer books, but it doesn't really, it doesn't even go anywhere. We we did all those. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. We're down here now. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but it doesn't really go anywhere. Gabriel Lone Ranger figures from '81. Yeah, Gabriel Lone Ranger. Mm. It's a neat series. Do um, you guys hear that Disney is canceling some upcoming films due to the billions they have lost? Yeah, we've heard that that they, them and uh, DC. Yep. They're canceling movies and TV shows. A lot of projects. They fired a bunch of people, and they're going to just start over. They need to. Chris Potter oh, is the new side, voice. Uh, oh, okay. Side uh, conversation there. I don't know who that is anyway. Mm -hmm. I hey, can't remember. I was going to ask, have y'all heard about um, Mike Tyson and that guy? Oh, what, yeah. Logan, Logan Paul? Is that right? Is that his name? All right, John. Thank you for stopping in and saying hi to us. Enjoy oh, having gotta go. you. Okay. Yeah. 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 Mike Tyson. That's interesting. Yeah. Because that young if you guy. watch uh, Mike Tyson, he never stopped training. He's still in pretty decent condition. Yeah. And, and plus, everybody hates that other guy. They want. They would love to see him just get the crap kicked out of him by somebody old school. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the older comics are keeping these stores and the variants. And the you're variants. right. And the argument with the variants from the comic dealer's perspective is they have to buy so many of the new books to get the variants, and they can't get rid of them once they have them. Uh, even in the dollar bins, 50 cent bins, brand new condition, they can't oh, move them. So, it's, is it really worth it to get to buy 400 books? To get three or four variants that'll sell, and then I've got nowhere to put these, and they don't nobody will buy them, mm -hmm. you know. Oh, yeah, the Mark's playsets, Occam's, are the are fantastic. The 50s and 60s playsets, yeah, they, they had some fantastic stuff, yeah. Tice, we were watching some of his um workouts today. Um, and I told David because I do this one, um, you know, the kickboxing workout, mm -hmm. and they have like 
the Mike Tyson warm-ups, his push-up routine that he does every day. And they have some videos of him just doing his boxing routines. And he's still pretty, you know, he's in shape. He looks pretty good and everything. He's so He's still pretty quick. I don't know. I don't know why you want to make a challenge the, uh, with him. The other thing also, well, I mean, it gets views, and that's all he wants. It, whether he wins or loses, he still wins when he goes to the bank. And that's what he's after, mm -hmm. basically. But um, from the from the other perspective, mm -hmm. you're looking at somebody hungry and that has something to prove. That's Tyson. What does that, he have to prove? That he can still do it. I mean, he mm -hmm. got uh, he he's been screwed over pretty bad. Yeah. And then, um, and you know, this would be a way to let it out. Well, he kind of messed himself up with that woman. That they say oh, that, that, jail. that yeah, he went to jail. And after that woman, then he, he kind of went off of the rails when he bit dude ear off. And then he did some other weird things. He went to jail for a minute. And now he's yeah. kind of back on his feet. He was in a movie and he's kind of back on his feet now. And he kind of quiet, got his little birds going and everything. So, yeah. Know. The, um, but uh, the other guy is just, he's just looking to get like paid view, views. Yeah. He's looking to get views so he can pick up that monetization or whatever. Yeah. So yeah. he does, you know, that that's what he's looking for. He'll get it. Cause they say Netflix is going to pick it up. Yeah. Um, Robert would love to see the guy that plays Reacher do an update, decent version of Flash going. I think he's too big. And Flash I think Gordon. he, yeah, and I think he's too young. Somebody, uh, it's been tossed around the idea of him playing Thomas Wayne in yeah. a variation of Batman. Yeah. And Thomas Wayne is a big character, so that would fit. My comic shop sells new comics all the time. I have a pull list, pick up about 12 new comics each month. Mm -hmm. Those punches can still sit that face up yeah because <laughs> recently he hit somebody on the airplane on some the airplane. guy was mouthing off on the airplane <laughs> and um knocked he him knocked them out and they and um everybody that was that saw it and on the video said they could tell he held that punch he didn't even give the full yeah the full force of it and that's what munin is saying right there People do seem to like to provoke him. Why? Why you want to? Yeah. Poke, why you want to poke the bear, as they say? Yeah. Just the leave that man alone. Poke the bear. No, I don't want to try. Uh, reach a guy should be lying. <laughs> yeah, because he is a big dude. They've been talking live action Thundercats since the '90s. Back in the '90s, they even um, there were even rumors that David Carradine was going to play, um, not David Carradine. Was it David Carradine? Yeah. We're going to play um, uh, Tigra in in the in the in the film live action, it, but it's never come to fruition. If they did a live action Thundercats, they'd screw it up. Well, it'll be all CGI. They're not going to find big buff people and 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 uh, put makeup all over them to do the thing, which would be the best way because it would look more natural. They're going to put CGI all over them, and then they're going to look half cartoonish and everything. And, and then who's going to play yeah. Mamra? And are you going to transition? You would, If you're going to transition Mamra, that would have to kind of be in CGI. So I don't know. I think... that Kind of like what they did. They even did it in Thor Love and Thunder because that girl was skinny as hell. Mm -hmm. They put they drew dots on her arms yeah. so that they could make it look like she had big buff arms. Instead of just getting somebody that halfway looked like you want you them to look. You can find fit women who are muscular and in great shape. Cause we, like uh, those couple of girls that were in the uh, mm, Strong, Strong Man. Man. Yeah, because we, we watched watch the Strong Arnold Man. Classic. And there's a couple of girls there. They're, they're very feminine looking yeah. and very, very obviously very muscular. Yeah, they're big for, as for can females. Be. Yeah, and it's like that. You, you, you can teach those people to act. You can't teach an actor to put on muscle. Well, some people they some go, do. They, some do. Yeah, I'll give you like, that. Uh, yeah. uh, Demi Moore when she did something. She she uh, when she did that stripper movie, you know, and oh, they, learn to dance. Yeah. yeah. Have you guys seen Dune 2 or the first film? Didn't I never see either seen, of them. No, I didn't it. see any of the modern ones. Yeah, I never I, I never seen it. 
And Robert said, Reach a Guy should do Cats. Oh, the, <laughs> the other thing. They did a live, uh, a film of Cats. Yeah, they did a Broadway, Broadway. something. Well, they like had that. Broadway. It, yeah, and they had, did the live version of that. That's kind of weird. Yeah, people didn't like it. Oh, they yeah. They didn't care for it at all. I thought it looked uh, looked really bizarre because they CGI'd CGI. that. Right, and, and it'll you be the same thing. You can't put them in thing. makeup. They've been doing it in makeup since the 80s. Yeah, Tell. for the for the um, play. <laughs> so, and that's what will happen if you do a uh, um, Thundercats movie. It's going to look all creepy and weird. So, you know, just kind of yeah. leave it alone. My Smurf. Mm -hmm. But And this is about how big a Smurf would be to a human by, oh no, yeah, yeah, because a Smurf is supposed to be three apples high. And I know they were very inconsistent in the show with how tall a smurf is because <laughs> in one minute it's like that one minute it's gigantic this is about how big it should be to a human i just want one true to comic to cartoon comic a raw gi joe film before i die <laughs> please hollywood just watch the cartoon they had make two it live, live action film. they things. had two live action but he films. said it wasn't true to the cartoon or comics you can't do it some it stuff can. some stuff doesn't translate well from uh animation some stuff doesn't translate well from uh comics to live action you watch it in live action no matter how accurate it is it's like what the hell are they doing <laughs> i i don't i think there are certain things that are in animation that if you put it to live action it just doesn't seem to make any sense that's why they didn't want to do monster uh squad you remember yeah they said no i think we better keep it animated instead of trying to do it live action yeah. dc some things do i can agree with yeah. that some things just do look better and and you can believe it easier mm -hmm. if it's cartoon you know because some things in a yeah in a comic book it gets kind of fanciful after a while mm -hmm. but if you leave it in the comic <laughs> book or you leave it on the cartoon it's like, okay, I can go with it because it's a cartoon or it's a comic book. Yeah. But then you see it in live action and it's just, it's too far beyond what could realistically be done. Mm -hmm. Even if you're talking about someone with superpowers or whatever, and, it's, and you watch it and you're just like, ah, because there's things that don't make sense. Like spider-man 2 with toby mcguire mm -hmm. where he's fighting dr octopus right mm -hmm. um, octavius now here's he's got the arms and his strength is in the cybernetic arms that are attached to his back okay? who is this now octopus? dr octopus okay now you have peter parker who's strong enough to stop a runaway train in this film okay by pressing his body against it, punching Dr. Octopus in the face without phasing him, he still has a normal human body. I mean, the only person that can stop a, a train is Superman. Okay, well, he stopped the train with his webs and stretched him out, and he, he got crushed into the with train. webs? Yeah, he shot webs out and held onto him, and then he put his feet and uh, broke. It was breaking the beams on mm, underneath of his feet and trying to stop it without damaging his shoes by the way go back and watch the film uh <laughs> this stuff you watch it like that you read through it in a comic book and that stuff glazes past your mind you watch it in live action and you're like the moment he touched dr octopus and landed that first blow on his face he should have been wiped out he should be on his way to the emergency room because those arms they don't increase his strength. They don't increase his durability, anything. He's still vulnerable in his body. You can get over that reading it in the comic, but mm -hmm. seeing it live action, you're like, wait a minute. That, you know, finally it, it, it connects and you're like, that doesn't make any, any damn sense. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. Some things just need to stay cartoon. Yeah. Stuff. No, we never in our life heard like that. <laughs> I'm not. David might go. Oh, the uh, Kane County Toy Show. Mm -hmm. It'd be nice to go to the Kane Love County to Toy see Show you guys again. In person, but in the uh, cold we've been there before. And yes, uh, that uh, any toy show you go to, Occam, it's nerd tastic plastic. <laughs> And he's probably got a booth set up. Yeah. Any toy show you go to in Illinois, Michigan, mm -hmm. um, and that's Wisconsin, Wisconsin area. he does yeah. that whole tri-state 
and uh, he does Kane County too. Uh, I, I, although he last year he didn't do it for some reason. No, okay. the very last one he did not do, but he's done all the other ones. So nerd, tastic, plastic is is Warren. He's my son. Is it true the Cobra's big boa is a knockoff? Of um, Sylvester, Stallone? Sylvester Stallone as Rocky, mm -hmm. the Rocky character was mm -hmm. supposed to have. A, and a raw action figure. It was supposed really? to be. It was supposed to be a mail order figure. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so Big Boa was supposed to be the antigen because they try to do it so that every character has an opposite. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, ha like you have uh, Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow. Mm -hmm. or, even though in the in the cartoon it was actually Spirit was was Snake the eye. was Wait. the opposite oh. to. Uh, Storm shadow. Storm shadow, but in the in the toys it was um, snake it eyes. was snake eyes. Yeah. So Big Bull was supposed to be the opposition to the Rocky, who was supposed to be an official or a special trainer for GI Joes. Mm. But then Coleco stepped in and said, "Uh, uh because we own the rights to the Rambo figures, which is still Sylvester Stallone's likeness." You're not doing it. And so they had to cancel it. And then you ended up with the fridge instead. They made the fridge action figure uh, of the football, yeah, the football yeah, player no, you're yeah, about. as the official trainer for G.I. Joe. Yeah, so that, Rambo would have been a better fit. Rocky would have, yeah. Yeah. Rambo, well, they didn't want to because they didn't want to go in the direction. Hey, bow tie guy. Of, hey, how you doing? Bow tie toy Glad guy. Glad you could make it. Yeah. Uh, well, they didn't want to. I don't think G.I. Joe wanted to go the direction of Rambo because in the films mm -hmm. it's very violent. Oh, yeah, Rambo will kill you. Even though in the, don't in kill the cartoon, nobody. in the cartoon show, mm -hmm. it's controlled violence, so nobody ever actually gets hurt. Yeah. Plus, Rambo never shuts up in the cartoon, he runs his mouth a mile a minute. He didn't talk much in the movies, and when he did, he had something serious to say. Um, but yeah, that's the direction that they went in with that. Yeah, I want to get on that seventies <clears throat> Flash Gordon. Um, the Mattel. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I think you're talking about um, Defenders, Defenders of the, of the, Earth. Earth, of the yes. Earth, Robert. I have those. I need two more to complete that line. It's tough to find those on the card. Actually, they're they're on um, eBay now, and they're they're not bad. I just didn't <laughs> make a move on it, but um. I want to get the 70s Flash Gordon, but they're expensive. So I thought yeah. about getting the NECA remakes mm -hmm. um, because they're just cheaper. Even though they only ever did Flash and uh, Ming. Ming. Yeah, but they only a, did two. A big homage card, though. Yeah. It looks like the original Mattel cards. It's a nice, uh, it's a nice nod to it. Occam says the Rocky file card can be found in the Marvel comic books for Joe oh. if anyone wants to see it. Mm -hmm. So he was really close, yeah. Oh, okay. And they had already had enough trouble because of Sergeant Sam, uh, Sergeant Slaughter, because of course Sergeant Slaughter uh, being contracted with WWF, and then um, at that time, and then Vince McMahon got started breathing down his neck. Mm -hmm. Where the hell do you get off making a GI Joe action figure? Uh, when you're contracted with us and we got LJN or whatever going, uh, action figures. That's why that figure was cut off because it's very hard to find a Sergeant Slaughter. I think they're only prototypes, right? I'm mm -hmm. trying to remember. I could be wrong, but maybe somebody knows better than me. And uh, so they had that conflict with uh, Vince McMahon, and there's not much he could do because Sergeant Slaughter owned his own likeness. Uh -huh. So he was like, I am Sergeant Slaughter, and I am authorizing them to use Sergeant Slaughter. You can't tell me what to do with a character I created and own the rights to. Oh. And so Vince McMahon wouldn't let them make any more Sergeant Slaughter figures for WWF at the time and kicked him in the nuts that way. Oh, wow. But he did better with G.I. Joe because yeah, now that's mostly what everyone remembers him for because mm -hmm. that brought it to life because when you saw Sergeant Slaughter on the Raw Sunbow cartoon, and you knew, hey, that's really Sergeant Slaughter. It's his voice. It looks like yeah. him because uh, he did his own voice acting. And you've seen him on the wrestling. That was like, bam, wow factor for kids. And to this day, I mean, that's why he carries the big G.I. Joe 
wrestling belt when he goes to the shows and stuff and he wears the camouflage and everything yeah he does he's yeah. always in character yeah. you see him a lot that was probably the best movie ever made in his career was uh siding with hasbro mm -hmm. yeah ram <laughs> yeah. gi joe can't hit the side of a barn no larry buster <laughs> grabble crabble crabble the original uh Flash the Gordon. original Flash Gordon from the movie serials. Okay. First Rambo film, first of all, I think Stallone has 10. <laughs> he talked more than that. Yeah, but he talked with purpose. Yeah, he did. And it, he, it was good acting, actually. It was. He did look sad and lonely. Yeah. Love the NECA 80s Flash. Yeah, I like mm -hmm. that, too. I wish I could afford the original, because I would rather have the original, but you know, next best thing. Oh yeah, William Perry, uh, is uh, in poor health in a nursing home. Oh, yeah, he's in a nursing home. He was in bad health even in the nineties. Really? Actually, yeah. He he, I can see that. That's unfortunate. The Sergeant Slaughter figures. What's yeah, because they didn't make. Uh, now there's Sergeant Slaughter figures for wrestling. But back then, that was one of Vince McMahon's <laughs> little hissy fits and cut him off. Yeah, we do get him. <laughs> it, well, it's part of the nostalgia. It's part of the culture. I, it, again, in my opinion, like most things, wrestling peaked in the 80s as well. I don't know. Yeah, we talked right. about that yeah. earlier. We did talk There's about that earlier. There's two versions. There's one with his true voice uh -huh. and one with the dubbed voice. But the dubbed voice is funnier. I love how in that film they're on Mount Olympus, but if you're watching in the background between the bushes, mm -hmm. you can see the highway and cars driving by. So I'm like, Mount Mount Olympus is under a bridge, or where the <laughs> hell is it? It's supposed to be on some big mountain in Greece, right? Uh, no, no, it's it's next to the freeway because that's where they filmed it. And you can see cars <laughs> zipping by in the background with Zeus up on his throne. <laughs> it, it's, it's so badly done. Vince always against anyone who yeah. wants to bet. Yeah, that's the thing that kills me about it because now Vince is in like real trouble because of the so-called trafficking or whatever was yeah, going on. He's doing and everybody's like, oh my God, I can't believe it. How? Why, not? Why can't you believe it? P people have been talking about how Vince was an asshole for 40 years. <laughs> okay. They've been talking about what a bastard he is in real life yeah. since the 80s. Why is anyone surprised? Any book where they talk about him, mm -hmm. unless it's The Undertaker, The Undertaker and Ro and um, Dwayne Johnson kiss his ass. Yeah. But everybody else is like, yeah, Vince screwed me over with this. He did this to me. He told me this. He said this to my wife. Horrible stuff. Yeah. So why is anyone shocked? Do you have any Flintstones? No. No. Well, I have the thermos. I think that's the only, aside from some vintage, uh, like, Dell comic books. Mm -hmm. I think the only thing I have is the thermos that I picked up in that lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't. I don't have much Flintstone stuff. Flintstone no, stuff I'm. Stuff. I'm not a fan of the Flintstone like all that. They're classic though. Yeah. And How does a, Vince keep getting into trouble this at is his a, age? This is a real nice shape. Because he don't care. Because he think he can do anything. Because he got money. Yeah. And the longer you get away with stuff, the the more you think you can. That looks really clean. This is in, in really impressive condition. Yeah, for, for it looks its, good. For its age. Yeah, usually the lithographs are scratched to death on these. Yeah, it's nice and bright. Yeah, and it's an original Aladdin. I, I don't have the box, but I got the thermos from a, a lot that I had purchased at a public auction recently, mm. or for like a few, couple months back. Yeah. And this was mixed into the lot, and I it was like stupid cheap. And I got with it a lunchbox, but not this one. And it was the, um, I got the Kung Fu lunchbox. And the. Uh, you know where it is? Yeah, it's right there. Oh, okay. The Kung Fu lunchbox with no thermos. <laughs> As David Carradine um, lunchbox there. And there was some other stuff. There was an antique lamp, an antique fishing lure. Um, some antique glass stirs or swizzle sticks all in this lot mm -hmm. and nobody was bidding on it. 
Nobody was bidding on it. And this was at a live auction. So the guy goes, one money, $10. Any takers? And I got it. Yeah. I got it. And again, I don't normally talk about prices because I'm not trying to brag or anything. But I couldn't do all this if I didn't have that kind of luck. Trust me. Yeah. But that, 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 was, that was fantastic. I was like, nobody wants that. You know, 10 bucks, one money. Come on. <laughs> that was a good day. <laughs> the fishing lure, I, I sold the fishing lure. The fishing lure got $45. Wow. Raccoon eyes don't believe Vince wrote those texts. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I, I don't follow all that stuff. I always love Manila Gorilla. Magilla. Oh. You don't even know his name. Mm -mm. It says Manila right there. <laughs> oh, are you reading it? I yeah. thought you were saying No. That. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Magilla Gorilla. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that is. That's got to be very rare to get. In in clean in clean shape like that, yeah. Hi. And still has the top. Uh, Vercules. Yes. Yeah, still with the top and everything, the stopper intact. Yeah, it, it's tough to find these in in decent condition, especially Thunder, the barbarian. Especially since these old Aladdin bottles are glass interiors yeah so that's uh that's pretty significant oh i remember thundar the barbarian mm -hmm. that show was um that show was pretty pretty weird too saturday morning cartoon show i think it only had like a season a lot of those shows only had a season and they were surprisingly good yeah like when we watched the um saturday morning uh cartoon planet of the apes Hey, very well very written, good. Yeah. very well written, very yeah. interesting. The entire uh, season mm -hmm. was one story, pretty much. They didn't finish it because they had set it up for a season two and never got to it. Oh, the Kung Fu Lunchbox, yeah. Yeah, oh, the Kung Fu Lunchbox. Mm -hmm. And then um, and then, from my, uh, my understanding is Excuse that the me. Saturday morning cartoon Planet of the Apes is the most accurate to the original book of anything that's been produced, Planet of the Apes wise. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. He loves a, a raw figures behind you, figure cases behind you. Oh, um, which which one? Uh, figure said, case behind me? Mm -hmm. Where's the figure case? These, oh, oh, on these. this side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, over here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a tough one to find too. Uh, you're talking about this line. When you talk about collecting, you need to put luck into the conversation because yeah. without it, some of us wouldn't be able to find certain pieces. That's and, true. And that's where I'm at with it because, you know, we're not wealthy. No. We're just savvy. We're, we're, we're a careful shopper. We find amazing deals, you know, stuff like that. But yeah, this is tough to find on the card. It's not worth a fortune. These aren't that valuable. The uh, the accessory carded packs are not that valuable, but they are very difficult to find in decent cards. This is the cheapest one if you ever wanted to start doing these. The vehicle care accessory pack, nobody wanted these back in the day. So you can pick this up for under 20 bucks on the card. I'm not kidding. Um, the other ones are more expensive, but they're not that much. No, we don't have any Mego Flash Gordon. Did Mego do Flash Gordon? I know Mattel did. Yes. Okay. Yeah, Migo but we don't did, have any. But it's a, in a different. It's in a different scale. Yeah, the Mego the, size. The regular Mego. Regular Megos are eight inches or one seventh scale, I think, and the Buck Rogers are nine inches tall. It's an inch yeah. taller for some reason. Just saw a cartoon clip of Panda of the Apes. Saw the intro. Yeah, because this like crucified bodies. <laughs> Uh, of hanging upside down and flame and everything at the beginning. Yeah, it's we crazy. We know how he died. <laughs> yeah. He died uh -huh. in that um, closet getting hung up doing weird things. Yeah. Talk about pe that's all that's age. all anybody ever talks about. That's all anybody remember about the guy. You watch um if you watch um mystery Rift sign Rift Rift they tracks. talk about it all anytime anybody the time. anything touches someone's neck they bring it up <laughs> on Rift tracks and it's like good night you know just okay that's a that, it's kind of in bad taste yeah i mean you know that yeah. was that guy thing and he died i mean that you could do about that oh yeah what the old oh, no i was just gonna see the thing again there Oh but yeah. yeah, Rift Tracks brings that up a lot. Yeah, there's certain all things the time. there's certain things they mention over and over 
on uh, on riff tracks mm -hmm. that um, gets kind of old references real quick. like that and certain things that it's even out of touch already because you know most people in the modern era wouldn't understand that reference. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, and it's a shame about that. Yeah, it ruined his reputation. Yeah, because that's only that's all people talk about. Yeah. Not. You if know it's the Bill shows Lat or the movies. They'll latch anything. onto the negative automatically, yeah. and it's uh, it's kind of like, well, that's what um, Green Goblin said in the first Tobey Maguire Spider-Man film. Mm -hmm. It's like you think these people love you? Are you kidding? It is like they all they want to see is for you to fall, fail, be destroyed. Yeah, it is a lot mm -hmm. of people that are passing around. I mean, it seems, I guess, because of social media and um, yeah, it gets you know, around a access, lot more now. Yeah, it gets it gets around faster, so you hear about it. But but yeah, it does seem like more people are passing away. Um, you know, more recently, but yeah, yeah. Clean up a watched, little bit here. Watched um Max documentary on the Mother God Lady in Colorado. Even had Robin Williams in it. Oh yeah. I don't know that one. Mother God Lady in Colorado. Even had, I know he. It was sad. He committed suicide. He just seemed like he was a happy person. Yeah. You know, Robin Williams. Yeah. Well, I, 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 apparently I it was him. an act. I guess Rac uh, raccoon said conspiracy theory is that Carradine was killed by the Chinese mafia and <laughs> posed that way. Oh, apparently, just yeah. about the I Kung see. Fu show. Who knows? I, <laughs> I doubt that, but you know, whatever. Okay, we saw that. I one. think that the and a lot of people, uh, people get upset with me about that too, but um, because Bruce Lee was a target for that show, but they didn't like Bruce Lee. Mm -hmm. Because he um, nobody liked working with him. Oh. He's notoriously rough on uh, on stuntmen. Oh. He he didn't like stuntmen. He didn't have any respect for him, and so he would he would shoot on them. So you know when you hit someone for real, so he would he would be really rough on stuntmen, and they didn't want to work with him. And it's like, well, we're going to run this whole show where he's going to be fighting in every episode, and we're going to set him. Who? Nope, we can't get anybody to work with the guy. Wow. So they were like, whatever. And they they blew it off, and they uh they came up with Carradine. The lead singer of NXS died that way. Really, I want some NXS <clears throat> records. I was surprised of how I I, I, was, uh, I was watching a behind the music thing, and they were playing the clips, and I was surprised of how many songs I knew. I just didn't realize that was them. Yeah. So um, when we go to the upcoming um, record show, I'm gonna be looking for their stuff. Of course, if I don't find it, then I have to go on eBay and um. You know what I want? Amazon. You know what I want? Probably. Thank you. Yeah. Stone, Sour, Stone Sour. Man, Thank you. And we really Virgil, appreciate it. Yo, Virgil was yeah, not. Yeah, Virgil just died. He was not popular. No. The, the people that worked with him didn't like him. The mm -hmm. fans don't like him. No. I've heard uh, horror stories from fans about yeah. dealing with him, uh, going to get autographs and stuff. But yeah, thank you, Stone Sour. But didn't we see him? Wasn't he at? A show we were at, Virgil. I don't remember. I think so. I think he was, but people, yeah, people don't like him and, or didn't, and uh, even the people that work with him don't like him. Even a uh, million dollar man, Ted DiBiase. Yeah, I seen him in an interview, and he was just like, "Listen, you know," he was like, "I don't mind you being around, but at least ask." You yeah. know, you tell he'll he'll come to your show. I'll be somewhere, and I'll find out he's out in the parking lot selling autographs. It's like, dude, what the hell are you doing? It, 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 stuff like that it, he he i don't know he was a weird guy yeah robin williams was in some creepy movies one hour photo is creepy one hour photo was good though robin, it was robin really williams, good for as many good films as he did like dead poet society mm -hmm. or good morning vietnam and stuff he did as many bad films too. He was in a lot of films that just were flat out sucked. Yeah, but one hour photo was good. Yeah, one and hour that, photo was good. That episode he did of um um criminal and no, not criminal SVU Law and Order SVU. He was in an episode of that. <laughs> uh oh, bless you. Um, that was an excellent um episode. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, he but he was in some some creepy movies though. 
some more some serious ones not as many comedies as he was in dramas Mm because he was in a lot of dramas and he did a good job that one where he was like that funeral director or whatever he was that was good wasn't that jack black you think of a jack black funeral director no 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 uh uh Robin, Robin Williams. Williams. He wasn't a funeral funeral director. It was a futuristic movie, and if you died, they had this way oh, of taking okay, all of okay, your okay. memories. Yeah, I know the one you're talking about. Now. Yeah, they took your memories, and then they made like this photo lineup to show at the funeral. But then somebody wanted the memories so they can find out some things that the person knew mm-hmm. and all of that, but it was unethical. Yeah. Oh, and, uh, hey, oh, Gunshine. The only Virgil I know Devil is from Devil. <laughs> I think most of those wrestlers will be forgotten. Mm-hmm. A lot of them are already he forgotten. Says, oh, watch out. Hold on. Watch out. Wait a minute. I'm messing up something. Now I can't get it off. Uh oh. <sighs> Careful, okay, please. I, yeah, yeah. And uh, Ozzy Osbourne isn't doing well. He, yeah, none of those uh, old old musicians are doing well. Oh yeah, they wouldn't play Tarantino's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood due to Quentin's depiction of Bruce Lee in the film. Mm. I liked the movie. I did not see it, Occam. And I heard about that though. In that scene, that's based on a true mm-hmm. story. Mm-hmm. I know the scene you're talking about where he has the fight with the stuntman. That guy was a that guy was a, a, a ringer because mm. the studio was so sick and tired of him um, putting uh, putting uh, stuntmen in the medical tent mm. that they hired a professional fighter as a stuntman. Mm-hmm. He, he I guess he was a stuntman, mm-hmm. but he's like a, a like a, a high ranking judo master or something. Oh. Also, and they said you sort him out mm-hmm. if Bruce Lee messes with you whatever and that's what happened oh, and the, wow. the guy apparently hemmed uh bruce lee up because oh, wow. it was a style of fighting we wasn't familiar with he goes to uh whatever happened he ended up wrapping the guy up oh, and wow. holding him and he and bruce lee could not break the hold and mm. he's in there screaming and apparently after that they got along well enough <laughs> but because bruce lee was like okay here's somebody i can respect but he had no respect for other stuntmen that's just ridiculous. It is ridiculous. Well, why are you going to be in a movie then? He's just, he was an arrogant guy. He was an arrogant guy. Uh, mm. And he was a big socialite. You know, the whole big uh, stigma around him was that, oh, well, he's, you know, he would teach to anybody. Yeah, if you happen to be a wealthy Hollywood celebrity. Because oh, yeah, who uh, who were his clients? Elvis. Uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Um, oh, who was the other guy? All of his, uh, all of his, the people that he worked with were like extremely wealthy celebrities. Yeah, you know? we saw the new James Crow. Col- James Colburn. We saw the new Crow character. He looked like um that Joker character. Uh, Jared Leto. Yeah, it's ugh, with all of the tattoos and all skinny <laughs> and pale looking. He was in Awakening, one of the Eric best. Peter from- says very. A good true story. You know, uh, the thing with the crow too. Mm-hmm. Remakes of it have already been done, and they've all failed. Really, they did remakes. There, the original crow. There are four. Yo, oh. look it up. There are four of them because they wanted to uh, jump off of the success uh-huh. of the original with Brandon Lee, mm-hmm. and so they made it so that the movie's about the crow, not him, oh. and so it would resurrect other people to oh. seek revenge. And the movies, they were they were total trash. They just did not fly. So the first one was the only one. So it's like you've already attempted this several times. Why are you doing it again? Yeah, that was goodwill hunting, Robert. <clears throat> yeah. Bruce Lee was very big into luxury. Yeah, he um he liked being the big celebrity. Oh yeah. That's how it was back in the day. Guys would get in fights on the playground, get up and become best friends. Now one person calls the cops. They don't do that. They just kill you in 2024. That's what happened at Six Flags. Um, Last (coughs) week they had a fight at Six Flags and pulled out guns and started shooting everybody. 
That's right. And that was buried in the news. You didn't see that story. Mm -hmm. Didn't fit the narrative. He doesn't seem he doesn't seem likable or relatable. Bruce to me. Lee Roberts yeah. talking about yeah. Mm -hmm. In real life, he was a very arrogant guy. And, but you know, you it, it gets cloudy because there's a lot of lore around Bruce Lee the man. Yeah. And also the family uh, perpetuates that because they don't want going to sit there and say, yeah, my father was a jerk to people. They're not going to admit that. I see. You know what? One or two Bruce Lee movies honestly i only seen two i watch a lot of um a lot of karate film i didn't think he was all that amazing mm -hmm. compared to some of the other karate films i watched some of the other actors i like them better i, I like um tony jaw better i like jackie chan better I tony like, um, jaw in the protector is probably one of the best martial arts films that's been done the protector is fantastic you haven't yeah. seen it the one with the elephant yeah because it was two two parts to it and <laughs> yeah. um jet lee is good too i like jet lee also so um i mean i know bruce lee wasn't alive that long mm -hmm. to probably get into some films with other martial yeah. artists he was a good breakaway because he could speak english yeah that's what really propped him during that time period he could speak English. So when it came around to doing an actual American film instead of all Chinese films that are dubbed, um, and that was Ender the Dragon. Yeah. And then he died. So, you know. Mm. Raccoon uh, never saw yeah. the original Crow. I never saw the Crow either. Based off of the James O'Barr, I think, uh, the, the original four-issue miniseries. In, I've heard that. Yeah. That Storm Shadow is... It's supposed to be Bruce Lee. Yeah. <laughs> I've heard that before. Jackie Chan is the opposite of Bruce Lee, it sounds. He seems humble, at, at least, least in, in interviews. interviews. Yeah. And Robert says he usually watches old Chicago videos on YouTube, but geez, so sad, nothing but rudeness and uh, nastiness. Oh, yeah. Chicago is uh, crazy at the earth. And there you are. But yeah, we like the we like our old kung fu movies too. They're yeah, fun. they're a lot of fun. We enjoy that, and there's uh, the like uh, there's certain ones that are really fantastic. Mm hmm. Yeah, and and it's a couple of um characters or actors that I like to watch. So mm -hmm. you know, but yeah, I like watching a good seventies kung fu movie they're <clears throat> they're often cheesy but the fight scenes are usually good some of them get kind of outrageous when they start jumping straight up into a tree uh, and you know they jumped <laughs> off backwards and they just ran the film in reverse or the sound effects are hilarious in those too like people jump and you hear pigeons and uh every time somebody throws <clears throat> a punch it sounds like somebody's swinging a hammer it, it's pretty funny that some of the sound effects that they have and the voiceovers. Yeah. Uh, apparently, everybody in China has a uh, has a British accent. I guess. Um, what's also good is and underrated is from that time period. You never hardly see them. Is Japan was doing films like that too? Oh, were they? And they're some of them are pretty damn good, especially the Lone Wolf and Cub series. Yeah, you talk about that one. Often. I have the whole series on disc. Mm. Lone Wolf and Cub. I don't know, but if if more than two of them have ever been dubbed in English, though, mm. but they're amazing, and the guy, the the, the sword work in that is fantastic, because the guy, you know, he's supposed to be a samurai. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, shipwreck is based off of the Jack Nicholson character in the last detail. Yeah, the last detail. Okay, they're talking. <laughs> And, and uh david says he likes bolo Jung, yeah shoot fighter and tiger claws yeah bolo Jung. um he's pretty good he's pretty good yeah he's huge for uh um chinese he's guy. not that tall either no it just but he looks bigger because he's so bulky yeah but bolo Jung, yeah he's been around for a long time too we see him in uh in some of these old chinese films from the 70s with a bit part where he uh he's on for like two minutes and he plays a dopey guy yeah we just saw him in yeah. one last week and he played that role yeah a, a dopey strong man chinese guy 
What do you think about Hasbro giving the O ring license to Super Seven? I hope we get Pythona. Pythona. Oh, yeah. Lot of characters. Not gonna buy any. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna buy any. I I think it's a good idea because there's a lot of people that are nostalgic for the O rings. Mm -hmm. And it'll be smart if Super Seven makes figures that were never done, like you mentioned, Pythona. Uh -huh. I don't think she was ever done in the original lineup. That's that'll be their money makers, figures that are compatible with these, that have never been done because there are such characters, like Big Lob. Yeah, they never made Big Lob. It was made in the anniversary set as an anniversary body type figure, the long slender ones. Mm -hmm. But Big Lob never made it to an action figure from the film. Oh, okay. um, he was an annoying character, anyways. All of those were Tunnel Rat, um, Jinx, Big Lob were really freaking annoying characters mm. in that film. They 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 were terrible. But um, the the figures were okay. Like the Tunnel Rat, it's a cool figure. Mm -hmm. It's a nice looking carded figure. But I didn't care for them when I saw them in the film. Or Chuckles, uh, on the. Uh, in the raw sunbow mm. stupid stupid character <clears throat> hasra had to release some licenses how much money um have they, they lost, lost at it? this yeah, point and that's a shame oh yeah and didn't okay. have to didn't have to uh check out show uh kasugi movies he's great even jackie chan was in one of them uh when he was little oh wow okay. right. i'll look up that name because mm -hmm. um I watch Tubi a lot, and Tubi has a lot of kung fu movies and anime, and a lot of the uh, 70s, 80s, and 90s cartoon, and some early 2000 cartoons. Mm -hmm. And I like going back and watching them and seeing, you know, some, especially the ones that I've never heard of, and they have a lot. Might get super set. From what I've Jungle. heard, the ones doing the best with those right now is NECA. Oh, the Dungeons and Dragons? Yeah, but I don't have any, but uh, Clutch. Is Clutch in the cartoon? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of them that were never done, especially like playset figures, figures that came with vehicles. Some of them were never done. Or if you did see them, um, they, uh, they, they were in the Sun Bowl like once or twice, but there's figures that were never done. There's a lot of Cobra uniforms that were never, never done. They could, they could get it going. Occam says, uh, do you buy some modern stuff like the Conan figure? I figure with your love of GI Joe, some unproduced Ara O-rings would be a buy for you. Why are you holding off? Just curious. Yeah. I don't want to get pulled down a rabbit hole with that stuff. <laughs> I really don't because I'm kind of a completist at heart. And even with like, that's why I stopped getting the classifieds. I started getting some classifieds. <clears throat> Nearly a hundred have been produced now, including the variants. Mm -hmm. Nearly a hundred. It's too much too soon. A lot of these toy lines have produced already more figures that were than were produced in the original line. Black Series Star Wars has made more figures than Kenner ever made. You know, all of these lines are because they'll keep cranking them out and they'll make them in different colors and they'll do this and that. Christmas, and then, Easter. And then, this is a store exclusive here and this is a convention exclusive and then you can't track them down yeah. i couldn't find them <clears throat> i just got sick of it and yeah. it's like you know what i don't even want them now and i think that's what it, it, it turned me off yeah when i was buying a lot of the newer figures you had ex store exclusives you couldn't find them when they were supposed to be out and that really turned me off and then you have all of these different companies doing the same figure back when we were growing up one company made those figures one company did gi yeah. joe one company did thundercats one company did <laughs> this one for every toy comp uh, toy line one company made it so you only had one choice now you got like all of these different people and making it's like, the same thing yeah and then it's not like okay we got five people making ninja turtles and they're making five different 
No. Characters. They're all, They're gonna all make the making same the, same yeah, character. the exact and same that's a, character. That's a good point, too, because how many companies are doing Ninja Turtles right now? Yeah. Like too many to even count. Mm hmm. At least the, the, um, Masters of the Universe kind of reeled itself in a little bit. Thundercats, only one person is making it right now, and that's Super 7. True. So that, that's good. You know, so if you want Super 7, and I like them, and I've always liked them because they sell their stuff, you know, to Big Bad Toy Store and to um, uh, Entertainment Earth, or you can buy it directly from them. But it's not going to be... You store exclusives all over yeah. the place and it's supposed to be in stores on the 17th and now we're three months later and you still can't find it and old gunshot <clears> says <throat> uh the best super sevens were the uh filmation i masters. like those yeah i got everything were, super seven and again <laughs> they were making stuff that hadn't been done yeah and that's what you want because it's like if, if another series decides <clears throat> to make masters of the universe guess what they're going to start with he and skeletor if another series decides to make thundercats they're going to start with lionel yeah it, it's always the same figures look at uh, even gi joe everybody's got a piece of the gi joe license now and who do they start with oh gee how about snake eyes <laughs> you know it's the same ones yeah so give me a break we were at a fleet yard sale a few years back, <laughs> and this ago, yeah. guy had a ton of DVDs, and they were martial arts. Mm -hmm. And I think they were supposed to be what a dollar or two a piece. Then yeah. it was by the time you know he was like, "Oh, we're just selling for what twenty five cent a piece." Yeah, and it, and and it was like a ton of martial arts film, a lot of Jackie Chan and some other stuff, and and um, we there got was a them. Jackie Chan box set. Yeah, it has like. I don't know how many films on it, but um, I mean, that was a quarter too. Yeah. He didn't care because he was like, oh, who has a DVD uh, player anymore? I mean, yeah, the mama asked, who, yeah. who, who has a DVD? Like we do because yeah. they watch everything. Sure, sure, and sure, they sure. were saying, yeah, we stream everything. Everything is online. So. Yeah. That's why if anything ever happens to that stream, you'll be sitting mm -hmm. there in the dark. Yeah. Yeah. Because um, <laughs> something happened to the, to the internet. So now you don't have the internet for six yeah. months, so you can't watch a little Netflix shows. Or they well, decide, or they decided you have to pay for it now, and then you can't get that particular movie anymore. Yeah, just like they did with Falcon Crest. Oh my God, I was so crushed when I went to watch Falcon Crest on Tuesday, yeah. and now you have to pay for it. So you know what? I won't pay for it. I just won't watch it. Oh, oh well, no. I don't know what Lance gonna do. That's why it helps to have uh, physical media. Yeah, I, 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 yeah. I never could let that go. Mm -mm. I sure wish I had it on DVD now, cause I'll be watching Falcon Crest come Tuesday. Uh, is a legend. Pray for death is really good. Okay. Nine death of the ninja. Five Fingers of Death is a really amazing one too. Mm -hmm. uh, Stone Sour says, "Do you guys have active pre-orders?" I do. Shh. I do. I got a bunch of stuff still open at Big Bad Toy Store. Um, I haven't added anything new to it, though. Once I get these out of there, I think I'm done. Um, uh -huh. There has been a few new things that's come out that I'm kind of interested in, but I haven't made a move. I doubt it if I'll make a move because, like I said, I'm changing up the way I – well, yeah, the way I collect and what I collect – so I'm not sure the direction that I'm going uh -huh. in right now. And then uh, yeah, David crossovers. says crossovers. Yeah, like ninja, uh, like um, Transformers, My Little Pony, <laughs> which they actually did. Yeah. And then uh, Lainey says here that they're, I'm with you. I had to drop out of classifieds way too many. Yeah. And Munin said it's bad enough you can't find most classified figures in the stores around you even carry them. Then you pay for the ones you want only to see them turn yeah. up. Always. Yeah. That's what hurts more than anything else. Cause you because I remember like some of the um masters of the universe origins, I only <laughs> wanted the vehicles and oh I looked and looked and looked and God when Panthor and um what's his name? Battle Cat came out, you couldn't find yeah. it for nothing at walmart and then i finally got them on ebay at a halfway decent price then suddenly a million of them turned up at walmart and they're literally still on the shelf and if you go to ollie's they're there even cheaper for, than what they are at walmart yeah and i think that hurt more than not being able to find it 
And William says he yeah. thinks being a completist is relative. His idea of complete collection is having everything I want, not everything ever made. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you, um, yeah. William. And Robert wants to know what's the next, what's your next show that you're going to? Well, the next one is the Toy Lanta, right? Yeah, yeah, that one's coming up in. A, is it Toy Lanta or Joe Lanta? Toy Lanta is coming up in what, like two weeks or something? Yes, there will be. Yeah. Uh, we'll be filming that. And Ockham says they bought uh, Nacelle Sectars uh, Stellara mm. scales perfectly with the vintage Sectars. Shocked neither of you got into the line of visionaries. Yeah, I'll get the. I, I would look out for the original ones. I have some carded visionaries. Yeah. But I don't want the new. I just don't want the new stuff. I just can't get into it. Uh, is it forbidden to have garage sales and so on? I don't see any more uh, Craigslist. I don't see ads on bulletin boards and grocery stores. Everything disappeared. They have garage sales out here. Yeah. They just some, don't advertise. Some here. counties uh, charge you now. They make mm -hmm. you buy a light. They make you buy a license or uh, get a permit. And Ogunshai, what do you folks think about the Bandai Space Voltron and the Lion Voltron? Oh, I Bandai, Bandai doing Voltron. Voltron now too? I know that the Voltron uh, store, because we showed a, like a, a mini jumbo machinder mm -hmm. from the Voltron store um, like a couple of weeks back on the weekly roundup. I, I don't know about um, about Bandai doing the Voltron, though. I don't, I don't know if I've seen that. Um, yeah, I'm switching what I collect. I'm, I'm kind of pausing. I'm not going to really collect anything new unless it's like new. Vid okay, like I just started collecting Conan the Adventurer. I got that. I have some open lines that I want to kind of complete. And when I say complete, just get the, the main characters. Like I have, um, uh, what's that thing called? Captain Planet. I don't have every figure. I have enough. And I don't find it. The area that it's in is full. So no more fits there. So I'm not getting any more. And really, that's how I collect. A lot of things like my Batman, the area that I have Batman in is full. I can't put any more there. So I don't get any more Batman. Unless I really unless I yeah. see one that I don't have that's ultra cheap. Um, I need two more defenders of the earth. And then that'll be complete. I don't have vehicles, and I'm fine with that. Um, I'm pretty much done with my Masters of the Universe because the stuff that I would need now is so expensive. I, I'm not willing to pay any any the money for it. Mm -hmm. If I found it ultra cheap in the package, yeah, I would get it. Um, I'm not going to trim down. I don't get rid of anything. Um, I just won't really get anything new unless I saw something that, um, in, uh, unless I saw something was just like, blow me out of the water. Yeah. So that's where I am. And Robert wants to know if I'm still hunting in humanoids. I still need two. Yeah. But they're just, they're just so expensive. Yeah. Ultimately, you know, and, and again, if I could find a good deal, I consider it, but. Otherwise, I can't just go out. And oh, yeah. Buy Toxic it. Crusaders. See, I would love the Toxic Crusaders, the mm -hmm. vintage ones. They're too expensive. So I would get the one from Super 7. Yeah. And that's like something like I would want I want to get those. But like right now, I'm kind of on pause. So I don't know. But then if I go to a show because Super 7 don't really hold its value and I saw it cheap, I would get it. So that that's where I am with my collecting. I I just want to do something else, kind of, but I don't want to. I'm not getting rid of nothing. You know, I don't, I don't get rid of stuff. Marvel Legends don't seem to sell like they used to. A lot of toy lines don't sell yeah. like they used to. Several of my local stores stopped. Wow, they just quit carrying them all together. Yeah, and then Raccoon saying that about Ollie's. Mm, got rid of the G.I. Joes, and that's right before Christmas. But all the Eternals, Wakanda, and Marvel Legends are still there. Stacked, Stacked to, to the, the ceiling. ceiling. And there you go. And William said, how do you like your Origins Talon Fighter? Talon Fighter. Oh, yeah. 
Um, somebody on mm -hmm. here was telling me that it was twenty five dollars at um Walmart at Walmart, and <clears throat> that was last week. And I actually went to Walmart this week. I wasn't looking for it, but I saw it, and it was twenty. They they dropped it down to twenty five dollars because it was forty two. Then it went to thirty. 34 35 and then it dropped it down again to 25 so i actually got it um hey yeah i like it you know i don't take it out of the box <laughs> so. the other thing also as far as like me uh being a completist is because i don't like going down the rabbit hole of modern lines because you don't know when the hell they're going to end yeah they with, never quit with this stuff there's an end to it the product people i need one you know whatever was made was made and there's there's no extra nowadays you don't know when the hell it's going to stop mm -mm. you don't know when it's going to stop no. and you don't want to get uh you don't want to get pulled down that rabbit hole you can use a hair dryer and warm it up yeah sometimes a hair dryer will uh will dry that off yeah it'll loosen that glue up and then it'll just kind of lift off there are fluids that you can use like goo gone and stuff like that but it might leave a stain yeah so it's got to be consider. careful, careful so, but yeah you just have to be really careful you mm -hmm. know it's like you did with the muppets muppets and archie yeah i thought you did your human well i had shown them before in a short oh I, mean, I got to um like i said i need two i'm missing two from that line yeah yeah they're not going to be cheap again they're just what it is what uh what you got at this point is it catching mib seal figures is officially a costly task now and a real win if you stumble on one yeah. it depends uh because remember we had that whole video uh 80s to uh 80s action figure lines that are cheap <clears throat> cheaper than the modern ones mm -hmm. uh, i did one for 70s 80s and 90s and you know there's the big the big boys on the block will are, are always expensive like um G.I. Joe, Masters of the Universe, Thundercats. Yeah. If you're looking for stuff like that, Transformers, it's going to be expensive. But there's plenty of other toy lines that are not so expensive that you can collect that um, that are equally as impressive, like the Chuck Norris. Mm -hmm. I've got the complete Chuck Norris line. I don't think any of the figures in it cost more than $50. Mm. And that's an 80s toy line. And it's 10 figures in one vehicle and you're done. Yeah. As the shadow was like that. Yeah. The not early nineties, <clears throat> the shadow. Yeah. Very inexpensive figures. Conan, the adventurers like that. Um, mm. Swamp thing. I got the whole swamp thing and some of the play sets were expensive and that wasn't even expensive. You could get everything for under $50 and carded figures were 20 <clears throat> and, and below. Yeah. So they're out there. You got you got you just gotta look. Um but the the nineties stuff is starting to go up. Uh Ockham wants to know if I ever use the water bath with calcium peroxide on comics Whoa. and works, makes them look new, the golden age books especially. No. I, I do not like that practice. In Do it the, water? You mean put them in yeah, the water? You, 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 yeah, you use peroxide, Whoa. a peroxide finish. That um, the problem with that is mm. the faded, the the color, the discoloration will return over time. Ooh. Number one. Number two, it also makes the paper brittle. Mm. And that's what they don't tell you when they do that. So, mm. yeah, that's something I would watch. But peroxide out for. does fade stuff. Yeah. Uh, it, it also, it also does, has a whitening effect. Yeah. But um, that's why you brush I your have, teeth with it. I have spot cleaned with a peroxide solution on white like if there's a water stain or um <clears throat> or um foxing it'll lighten that out a little bit but you don't want to use much at all it's like a 20 percent to water ratio mm -hmm. and you you brush it on and then dry it off and then do the regular dry cleaning process mm -hmm. but as far as bathing it in peroxide no uh, not because it's kind of a cheat i would I would think that the water and the peroxide would cause the ink to in the color to run. No, it doesn't. But uh, it'll, mm, like I said, it'll, scared. it'll Wet bright, it'll up. brighten it. But it's a cheat because that color will fade. So mm. I mean, if you had a book and you got it lightened, and then you slabbed it two, three years down the line, mm -hmm. it's going to start yellowing again, mm. and then it's not that great anymore anyway. 
Mm. And then again, it makes the paper brittle and brittle paper is a huge problem for comic books. Yeah, I guess if know. it's graded, it doesn't matter because you ain't going to look at it anyway. You know what I mean? Uh huh. Yeah, I've seen collectors on YouTube. He can keep up with modern toy lines and, and he got a lot of money to David, do all that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or he's getting them for free to do reviews. Yeah. Robert says he saw an amazing review on a Mezco Shadow. Very nice. Mezco caught cool Dick Tracy figures. Yeah, they look good. Mm hmm. They look good. 90s toys and comics are technically that's true. they are they are now. even 2000 because that's 24 years ago yeah anything that's uh older what 20 years yeah and it's uh vintage anything over 100 is antique hmm. so <laughs> there you are <laughs> and there we are and uh with that i guess we'll go ahead and start wrapping things up we've been on for over two and a half hours we did our unboxing already <laughs> we did that in the first did, 30 we, minutes well, well for almost we did we had it wrapped up in the first hour but that's yeah. okay yeah we just like to sit and talk anyway so shoot, that part shoot the breeze with everybody mm -hmm. who uh who was able, some to, good able to join us here today so yeah. hope you uh hope you all got something out of that special thanks to stone tower yay uh, made, a, made a donation to the channel you gotta get that clap noise uh oh that hooray <laughs> yeah so yeah <laughs> there you are much appreciated uh we'll try to do this again sometime soon we'll do uh some other theme yes we, we are very chance. vintage <laughs> yeah we're vintage all right do you agree we are the legend it i, th I think be. so it could be you never know. i think yeah so. it could be yeah thank you but thank again, you again hope everybody so uh hope everybody got something out of it hope you enjoyed it and mm -hmm. we'll, we'll see you again sometime soon all right